Da. Where'd the game go? There it is. And where is Cool Cat? There he is. Hi everybody! Welcome to another f fucking stream. Great to see you guys. Thank you all for coming out and wanting to wish me well today. Today we are playing, what's it called? Madison! Who's Madison? I imagine we might be finding out. I know nothing about this game other than that it scared Ike, and Ike enjoys horror, so I'm, I'm kind of shitting myself right now. Honestly, every time I play a horror game, I just think back to when we played Amnesia. Heart rate monitor, you guys are so based and sexy. How could I possibly have forgotten that? Uh, hold on, hold on. Um, um, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. I like it when he goes beep beep. Thank you, Paradoxy, for the Arca Super. Came home from touching grass. Very good for you, touching grass. All right. Oh, naked stream. Here we go. Shirtless, my lord. Getting the monitor on. Love to see it. There it is. Beep beep. Beep beep. I was watching a clip back from the um, from the Doctor ASMR. And I forgot how fucking genius I am. The fact that I thought, oh god, I need to imitate medical equipment. And I was like, oh, the heart rate monitor, it beeps. And I was like, yes, go ahead and put this on. And then beep, beep. And I was like, oh, very good. And meanwhile, I was like, like trying to just take the headphones off and slip that shit on. It was uh, it was crazy. But I mean, you know, that's that, that's what happens when you're just when you're just really based and funny and uh, hilarious like I am. 93, god damn, making a strong start. Thank you for all the supers, everybody. All right. But like I was saying, every time I play horror games, I keep thinking back to the time. Sweet 16, Tori, thank you very much for the act super. Watching this while at work, oh, scandalous. <laughs> but like I was saying, every time I play one of these games, I always think back to the, um, to the amnesia stream, you know, and how it was a horror game, and I just sat there and, and had a laugh the entire time talking about 
Orson Welles. <laughs> that was the birth of the Maha trend on this channel. And I miss it dearly. You know, I want to go back to that. All right. Normal difficulty, visual hints, photography zones, normal enemies, infinite instant photos, and autosave. That sounds nice. Slot one. Start. Zo game. Luca? Luca? What the hell is he doing out here? <laughs> game is loaded 3%. 5%, 6, 7, 8. How long are we going to be here? 10, 11, 12, 13. What the fuck? This game's taken 75 years to load. Oh, wait, no, there it, <laughs> and there it goes. <laughs> uh, when will we invent an accurate loading bar? I wonder. I wonder. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, it hurts. Oh my god. Who the fuck is that? Hey. I don't know if I want to open that door, to be honest. That seems like a bad idea. Ooh. What if I don't wanna? What if I don't wanna? I don't know, I just wanted a sandwich. Oka. I just wanted a snack. Is the game sound low? Okay, no, uh, let me let me quickly turn that back up. Hold on. How's that, guys? What are you gonna do, mate? It's a good question. <laughs> oh man, I was just going to get some spaghetti. I don't have items to use. Right, so I need to find an item in here to break out of the thing. Uh, interact. Oh no, no, this this can't be happening. God. What what am I what am I looking at here? What am I looking? These are photographs. Oh, that's a set. Oh, that's an arm. <laughs> I'm a fucking dumbass. I thought that was like, I don't know why I didn't see the hand. I thought it was like something on a, I thought it was like some kind of a marking on the tiles, like something had gone wrong. And I was like, what the, what, like, it's like, oh, this can't be happening. I was like, what, did your, your mom go to the store and buy the wrong tiles? Never mind. Don't have items to use. Any other items in here that I can find? Anything up here? Rotate. Oh, that's cool. Pointed at something? Pointed out here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. God, the fucking Wiimote motion controls. Jesus. From your cousin Romeo, 626 Buenos Aires, Argentina. Yeah! Yeah! Nothing in there. Alright, so there's a little note. Uh, read. I, 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 I know that. What's inside? Uh, to John Maxwell and family in Argentina. Right, so I can't actually look inside that. Very helpful. I have to find the handle. The handle! Right, that helps me, Luca. Alright, yeah, let's get some more light in here. Okie dokie. See, this isn't so bad. It's just about... Puzzles. See now, if I was in this game, I would just grab one of them cinder blocks and I would be like, boom. You know what I mean? If you're ever worried in life, just give it a boom and you should be fine. Ooh. Ah. Grab. Alright, the handle. The handle. Bonk. Yeah! Yeah! And there's a hammer. See? What do you mean this game's got puzzles in it? This game's easy. Easy puzzles. Dad? Dad? Oh, that's Dad! Dad, please. Please talk to me. I don't understand what's going on. Father! Dad, Daddy! Stop. 
You're not making any sense. Daddy, get inside. <laughs> I miss you. Daddy. Daddy. Me, me being, me being the fucking dumbass that I am, I figured he was gonna like just try you to smash. Are not my son. Huh? You are not my son. Alrighty, I mean, please, please leave me alone. the priest box. What an idiot I was. I should have taken you with them. Why? 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 Why is this happening to me? <laughs> Give me my son back. I want my son back. <laughs> Daddy, I'm right here. I'll open the door with open arms for you. Daddy, I'm right here. Never mind. I suppose our dad is too long gone as he assumes that we are, you know. Come on. Maybe I can get out through Grandpa's house. Right. We just have to use. Oh damn! I gotta get out of here. Oh damn! I guess more of those. Yes, the pictures of the, the decapitations. I won't be able to go back. <gasps> it is too late. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. I fucking hate these door mechanics, man. Ah, oh, it's PT. It's PT. Right, so I should be scared. Okie dokie then. I need to find a way out. Oh no, Luca! What the hell is that? That wasn't there before. Or was it? Or am I, or am I being stupid? Ooh. Ooh. Grandfather's cock. Oh, happy birthday, Shang. Another little clock. I just want to use my hammer on everything, make sure we get something going. Oh. Wasn't there a door here? <gasps> it's getting a little mysterious. Ah, you know, never a good sign, really, to see like a ring of candles with uh, insects and some kind of my, a present. My birthday present. We're sixteen How years old. How did he get here? Looks like the squeaker's here. Sixteen years old, isn't he cute? Ooh. What's this? It must be broken. Hmm. It's a shame. Yeah. A key. We have a key. I wonder what it unlocks. Let's have a look. <laughs> Someone looks wrong with this guy's face. <laughs> Serial killer. K. Shot by police. In 19 Oh, I thought it was 1987. It's 1984. That's not a significant FNAF year. Never mind. Disappointing. Got pictures of real people. Oh, this lady who doesn't have any pupils. I wonder why you would keep a picture of that. Grandpa was just like Dad. Grandpa was just like Dad. In that he doesn't, he doesn't know how to open doors. Ding, ding. Ooh. Interesting. Hmm. Oh God. Madison. And now for the weather. And now for the weather. Yes, she was shot in the stomach after performing a uh, witchcraft ceremony on her family, and then she, well, you know, she was fucking shot dead. What? I've got a. 
Got a key. Got a key. Is this the wrong place for the key? What do I use the key for? Oh! What? Shake the picture. What do we got a picture of? Nothing. Oh, the chair's floating. Strange. You know, my chairs float sometimes. Yeah, it's true. It's a terrible business, chair floating chairs. Right, like I said. Oh, and now the door's open. So the magical camera acts as a lock to open doors. Uh oh. Oh. I ain't going that way. What the hell's going on? Uh oh. What's this? Grandfather clock is moving. Shake the thing. Shake the thing. Show me what I got. Show me what I got. I ain't got nothing. Alright, fair enough. I'm kind of scared. No, I, no, I am kind of. I oh. Somebody appears to have left their picnic blanket unattended. Oh, oh, he got the key. That's the study key. That's not for a fucking hammer. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, I wonder. Hang on a minute. Can we see the door if we take a picture of it? No. No, I am, I am, I am being silly. I am being misled, betrayed. Alright. Guess we're going on a bear hunt. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Gotta go through it. Bada bing. Make a fucking sound. Be careful not to make a sound. One thousand. What's study? Yeah, study, study. Well, what else do we use the study key for, eh? The bing. Hmm. Yep, ain't nothing there. Ain't got a code for anything. And the Malost Saga begins. Oh boy. Alright. Well, you know, it's just, a, it's just a part of the process at this point. I get lost every single day. Thank you very much to Izzy for the Akasupa. Happy birthday! I'm sure that this game will be the toughest time in my life. Got no gears. Got a bunch of photos, but... You know, nothing like that. Uh, right, didn't, there used to be a door there, but it's gone. Uh, we need a code for that. This thing's broken. This thing's broken. Alright. Oh! Now, you know what the engineer from TF2 taught me? Hammer. Oh, you can't use Okay, you need to click on it to use it. Never mind. <laughs> If the engineer from TF2 taught me anything, it's that you smack expensive machinery with a hammer, and then it will start working again. Yeah, he said we won't be able to go back. I believe him. I believe him. This poor 16-year-old boy must be so scared. Oh! Well, I don't know. I, I don't know about that. Yeah, if there's anywhere a ghosty is going to be, it'll be around an implement used to hurt oneself. Uh, ain't, they ain't got shit over there. Ooh, what about through here? What about through here? Yeah. What the hell was that? I always find rain and thunder oddly comforting in situations like these. 
Not that I get into situations where I need to use a magic camera to solve the mystery of my mother's death, but, you know, if I'm ever scared, rain reminds me that, oh yeah, the world is still working. You know, everything's back. Everything is still normal. Nothing to be scared of. Um, oh, put, put, put the portrait I in. should find a nail or something to hang it with. Aha. Is there a nail on a wall somewhere we can pry off with the hammer? Oh yeah, back in the uh, back in the thingy. We just grab a nail from in here. What is the one here? There's a nail. There are a bunch of them. There are a bunch of them, but the game isn't letting me use it. Oh wait! Oh oh! That is the picture of my of what I assume to be my mother's decapitated limbs. There are lots of nails everywhere. Nails, nails everywhere, but not a one to pry. Hello. Any down there? Shit moving around. Someone's playing with some pots and pans. Um. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, well, I'm stumped. I mean, there are lots of there are lots of lots of nails around the place, but. But which one is the game gonna let me grab? What if there's a nail from where we took the painting off the wall? Uh, apparently not. Apparently, there is no nail to speak of. And where? No nail to speak of. I'm just, just a silly boy. Oh. Of course, there's one within the grandfather clock, but... Oh, hello. Who's that? Not appearing on the cameras, it appears this woman does not exist. Use the nail. Bonk. Bonk. That is that all? Fix you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What happened here? <laughs> you, you're cringe. <laughs> Look at that face the way he's pointing. You're cringe. We found the door, guys. We got the key. Yeah. I keep forgetting this game's got really annoying door mechanics. Madison Hale, forty-three years old, serial what the killer. What hell has Dad been doing here? Agonized a few hours before she died. Princess Diana was alive hours before she died. Madison Hale dumped her victims' bodies inside a well Dad in her basement. He Grandpa's house, but instead he's been investigating this woman. Oh, so Madison Hale isn't our mum. What is right. going on? Why did she kill her parents? Was it her? What's a darn entity? Yeah, chat, what's a darn entity, eh? Come on. Does nobody have any answers for me in this fucking house? Ooh. Ah, yes, hiding a key in a matchbox. That's my favorite way of coping with this kind of thing. St. Jupiter's Cathedral, the Church of Horrors. Officer Russell testifies. As informed by the police department, the officer that ended Madison's life testifies that before dying, the serial killer begged for her instant camera. The 43-year-old woman is suspected to have taken pictures of her victims once mutilated. Ah... So it wasn't our mother's arms that we found in that picture. It was her victims, of which she took photographs. Oi. What are you doing? What's in the box? Oh, we got a little 
old book. That old kind of 16 year old is like. I can see the appeal actually. My I notebook. figured it was like crayons or something or some so shit. Dad's the one who took it away from me. Dad's the one who took away my notebook away. Acoustic cassette. <laughs> ah yes, my favorite kind of acoustic cassette. The blowjob cassette. Wink. What are you two oh. That's probably scared me more than anything. I think I turned a little too far and the refresh rate was low and I thought the door was like something appearing in my... Ooh. Alright, so wait, what did we just pick up? The cassette. Ah, okay. Okay, so we got to find a place to play the cassette. Is there a cassette player in here? We do have a television. Might there be a radio in another room? A radio device I can listen to my pictograms on? Oh, it's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. It's a long way to Tipperary to the sweetest girl I know. My favorite song that came on a record player back in 19 fucking 03 or whatever, whenever that was. It was the war, wasn't it? So it would have been like 1914, 19, 15. Oh. I didn't notice this. Let me have a let me have a wee check. Bang. Right this house. I've been, I uh, been here since he died. The fuck is Grandpa's house doing down here? You're not telling me something, Luca. Why in the f why in the fuck? Why in the fuck? It, I mean, okay, I don't know how the mafia works. <laughs> Maybe th that's how Mafia works. I don't know how the Mafia works, but I would assume for it to not be as bizarre as falling down like a strange corridor, smashing into some wood everywhere, finding a weird corridor down there, and then it's like, oh yeah, this is where Grandpa lives. Like, like what? He lives in the fucking back rooms. <gasps> the cassette player. Fuck. What? This storm must have taken out the power. Uh-oh. I think Grandpa had a generator. You know, one thing that I appreciate about this game is that this kid appears to be coping about as well as I think he could in this situation. He does sound genuinely afraid. Ooh, okay. Bang. It's the shitter. Thank fuck. Thank fuck. I was wondering when I get a chance to drop the kids off at the pool. Uh, that smells awful. The pipes must be clogged. Blue... Knee knees? Blue knees Hmm. A number of items. Another cassette. Oh wait, that's not a cassette. We gotta use something on it. Oh, can I oh is is there a, Did he fucking nail his No. What is that? Hang on a minute. Do not you <laughs> Oh my god. I think the tension is so high that this game has been quite unintentionally hilarious. I mean, the idea of there being a plank over the toilet, and I'm like, alright, can I just like pry it off? And it says, no, do not use the toilet. Well, never mind then. Combination. Ooh! Right, five, left. Something right, five left. Alright, so we gotta find the first part of the combination then, but I'll, I'll try and remember that. Ooh. Where's the basement? Ooh. Ooh. Bang. The basement. That's where they keep the baby. Um, I don't know how these work. Uh, yes. Up! You gotta do it in like a specific fucking... So it's up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. Did I do it? I guess I did it. 
shots in the darkened hallway. Bang! Nothing. Fuck. Alright. There is no need to cut off the power right now. Whoa! Oh, I did do it. Right. I, 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 just, I just clicked on it and then it worked. I, nothing happened. It was a little, I, was, I, was, I was kind of scared. Whoa. 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 Something down here. Ooh! Ooh! wonder what that could be. Jupiter. <gasps> Jupiter and Mars. In other words... Fuck this game. In other words... Holy shit. Ooh. Ooh. The camera. Bang! It's locked. Well, that was a bit of a wild goose chase, wasn't it? Swallow my sand. Oh, 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 oh. You know, speaking of nice songs, uh, I start. I mentioned this on Scarlet's stream when she was uh, playing FNAF, and I dropped by to give us some hints. I uh, started playing Guilty Gear the other day. Guilty Gear Strive. It's fun. I like it. Uh, I've I felt drawn to Potemkin because uh, what is that? I used to play I used to play Incineroar and he's a grappler and Potemkin's a grappler. And then I started listening to the soundtrack and I was like, oh okay, okay, that, okay, that, okay. This game is definitely very good because this is a good game. Right, so let me get these little tapes in here. Let's see what's going on. From the moment of first contact, it is already, it is already too, late. too late. When the a demon attaches itself, itself to a human, it demon? becomes a parasite of sorts. Guys, am I a parasite? Of sorts. Is that how you see me? It feeds from the my parasite. Until hmm. It devours every last part of their soul. In most instances, the demon's relentless objective is to get back to the world of the living. If you what want to break that about? link, well, I'm afraid it's no simple matter. So we're playing Mortuary Assistant again. I can speak at length about various rituals and procedures, but by far the best way is to obey. Oh. Help the demon attain that which it seeks. Only then will the demon leave of its own accord. Usually hmm. they enter the earthly plane through certain... Objects that they use as conduits between, between worlds. worlds. <gasps> Even, Even if you rid yourself, yourself of that object, object later, the demon has made the contact. Made the contact he he walks among us. Already walks among us. Among us. In the first stages of possession, the host human tends to withdraw from friends and family, becoming aggressive, so dad thinks. even violent. This Whoa, is maybe dad is possessed. Spiritual battle between the host and the entity, both vying for control over the mortal body. The symptoms that indicate yeah, surprise demon lore. You guys better be paying attention, right? If I ever possess you, and headaches, be honest, chat. If I possess you, you wouldn't, can you wouldn't so banish me, would you? As to render the host unconscious for days. The dark entity manipulates its host with visual hallucinations and voices in the mind also it's amnesia destroying the sanity of the host is for the purpose of making them I can't malleable contacted this compliant person. that's your granddad mate so the demon fully exerts its insidious control oh and before i forget several cases of possession so strange of behavioral patterns in nearby insects Cockroaches in particular. My advice. In medicine, what makes insects. someone a demon? Boom. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Ch -ch -ch. Getting There's caught. There's just no way. I can't be possessed. There's just there no must way. Be a mistake. I can't be Those possessed. Those pictures, that leg, that arm. I didn't do it. Yeah, you did. Dad thinks it was me, but I... I... Uh, 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 oh, God. My head... Uh, a door. A red door? Yeah, mate, you are possessed. Uh, what's happening to me? 
I believe we're going through a defocus effect. We are Gaussian blurring. Talking about. Ooh. It can't be happening to me. You know, one thing that my roommates used to do that would always make me laugh is that if, the, if they ever randomly thought of a funny image, ooh. Could it be the basement door? Appear to be creatures coming out of it. I can't use that. One thing that my roommates used to do is the way they would describe, um, like, uh, an image randomly entering your mind is that it would gauzy and blur into your vision. And I think that's some of the, that's the funniest way I could think to describe it. And so it'd be like, yeah, we just sat there watching a movie or something, and then one of my roommates would turn to me and say, like, I just had an image of Big Flopper, like, gauzy and blur into my vision for a few seconds, and I felt really scared. Yeah. 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 Ah. Oh shit, it's locked. It's locked. Oh, get that shit open. You know, I would not expect this from Luca. From Luca, I would not expect someone who has trouble opening doors. Luca strikes me as the kind of guy who throws doors open and is like, Good morning! Mimary, Mimary Magdalene, good evening. Grandpa dedicated his whole life to clock making. Interesting, uh, interesting little tidbit from you. I gotta find a way to open this door if I want to get out of this house. I gotta find a way to open this house. Red door in the basement, that's where we're going. Bum bada bum bum bada bum 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 So yeah, uh, you know, while we're still in the opening section of the game, how do you guys, uh, how do you guys like my feet, huh? Oh, all right. Cock. And it's locked. Still locked, right, so there wasn't like some event in the game. Hang on a minute. Bang. Whoa! Oh, police line, do not cross. What do you mean, ew? My feet are great. Uh, what? Even if I do wear fault wear odd socks. This is impossible. What's what's wrong with me? I don't know, mate. Those symbols. I've seen them before. I guess that's gonna be some kind of a clue. Aha. God, if only it was a little... <laughs> I love that you've got these archaic symbols, you know, you've got male, fucking planet Jupiter, the sickle, the droplet of water, the galaxy, moon, and then just two? Alright, so we got to find a code for this thing, and then I imagine that sort of progression to the next area. And I don't... Well, maybe, you know, there's always, there's always the camera. Hmm, hang on a minute. I wonder if there's anything out here. Nah, there is jack shit. Six. Uh, traffic cone. A spade. I imagine we're gonna find... I imagine we're gonna find the clues elsewhere. There's only one room. Does this game have jump scares? I believe it does. I'm a little apprehensive about jump scares. Wonder when those are gonna start showing their ugly faces. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the combination, so. Something right, five left. See, that's the place where we might find a clue. Gotta figure out the other place. 
Where else might we find a clue? And this is when the Milost arc begins. And no, I'm not talking about the MMO. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Oh, wait, that's that. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, thought I found something. It was nothing, as per fucking usual. Hang on a minute. What is this? What could this be? Is there something in the shitter to investigate? I don't think there is. Hmm. Shitty looking stove. Ooh. A little... <gasps> the triangle key. Of course. Alright, we can go back and use that now. Yeah, like I was saying, uh, I haven't really gone into a traditional fighting game in a long time. Ooh, that might be worth a picture. Yeah, I thought it might. I haven't really gone into a, um... Oh, clever. M oh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, oh, that's clever. Okay, okay, okay. But like I was saying, I haven't really gone into a traditional fighting game in a while. Is that our granddad? I like him. I like him. I think he looks funny. I still can't fucking get over the one of him pointing. Like, just, yeah, it's over there. <laughs> I haven't got into a traditional fighting game in a while, and so I'm very excited to kind of uh, give Guilty Gear more of, like, a serious attempt at learning it. Uh, and I'm thinking I might try and buy a controller for it, because, to be honest, I think the DualSense is a pretty, like, god-awful controller. It's a fantastic controller for most games, but for fighting games, I think the buttons are a bit squishy. You know what I mean? Oh, we need two of those. Fuck. I think the buttons are a bit squishy, you know, for fighting games. And I've been considering buying a controller for it, and I w I'm trying to decide, should I get, like, one of those hoary fight pads, or should I get, like, a fight stick instead? You know, like the, like the traditional arcade stick. And when I say traditional fighting games, I mean, like, I've, I've been loving Smash, but Smash is definitely a very different type of fighting game, you know. A lot of people are saying fight stick. Yeah, I've heard they're really good, like very tactile and fun to use. Someone I can just store store on my little TV stand and then whip out whenever I want to listen to Potemkin's theme song. I mean, holy shit, the Guilty Gear soundtrack is built fucking different, isn't it? I know nothing. I feel the roll of a silly clown. Like, who the fuck comes up with that? It's genius. Have I heard of the talking stick? Yeah, I've got the talking stick right now. Motherfucker, you better shut up. It's fucking great. You got like this this song that starts like boom 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 and then it pauses and he goes and he goes, I'm a clad fat and it, and then everyone starts headbanging and then, you know. And I love that Potemkin is just this big fat guy. He's got big arms. And then one of, and then I'm, from what I know from having practiced with him a little bit, he's got an approach option where he goes, Mega Fisto! And I'm like, ah, yes. It's my favorite. One of my favorite use, one of my favorite moves to use on the bitches is Mega Fisto. It's my favorite, Mega Fisto is my favorite Star Wars character. <laughs> oh, Nana, thank you very much. I'm glad you found me too. Who's this? Grandma and Grandpa's room. Hmm. Also locked. Interesting. Bit of a darkness here. Oh, there's nothing there. And I love how I love how like I don't know anything about the plot of Guilty Gear, but I like the I like how ridiculous all the characters are. You know, you've got like uh, the, the the girl the girl who f hits you with her hair, and she can transform into a moon made out of hair. You've got May who summons a million fucking dolphins, and then you've got Sol Bad Guy, who is actually the good guy, of course. Chains? Maybe I can break them with something. We do have a hammer here. I don't know if a hammer is, uh, yeah, precise enough. Perhaps we need some kind of, uh, what is it, like one of them wire cutters, you know, just... <coughs> Alright, I'm beginning to feel a little bit lost. That's fine. Okay, now what we did get 
Hang on a minute, let me look through my photos. There it is. So we got... We got... Yeah, no, we can, we can, we can use that. Hold on. Let me head back downstairs. Bolt cutters, that's the one. Over time, the bad things fade away again. You know that, right? The sunshine. That's a great song. That's a banger. It's very cute. Hold on. Alright, so... Two, water, and then water. Alright, alright, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Use. Eh. Eh. It doesn't have to take a while. Yep. There we go. Alright, it's two. Then we need the water droplet. Oh, oh, oh. It's all the way over the other side. Hang on a minute. My ASMR silent mouse has a better solution for this. It's got a really fast scroll wheel. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> Hold on a minute, this is taking too long. Let me let me whip out my second mouse. It's got one of those detachable scroll it's wheels. Like a crime scene. Hold on a minute. Yeah, and then what what was the other one? It's got one of those like free like wheelie scroll wheels where if you blast it with air, it goes like whoosh. Ha! You fool! I have over 70 alternative mice! And then we need the planet. Oh, it's just efficiency incarnate, isn't it? We did it. Uh, oh, and now we need some kind of yeah. That would that that would that would make sense. We do need some kind of a tool to um. We do need some kind of a tool to pry this bad boy open. Uh, so I guess that's what we're going to find next. But we've detached all of these motherfuckers now. Alrighty then. Shadow, what the fuck are you talking about? You're a beta male, Sonic. You know, I don't know if I'd really be able to, because streaming games on like older systems is pretty difficult. I would love to play Shadow the Hedgehog at some point on stream, because I've never played it before, but I know that I am essentially the Shadow the Hedgehog of Niji Sanji EN. I mean, look at me. We really were cut from the same cloth. You gotta examine the hair, you gotta examine the fucking just everything. It is 9 o'clock p.m. in the winter, so it's dark already. No, I mean, come on. Like, I'm not insulting myself. I am simply stating a fact that I, that Shadow the Hedgehog and I might as well be brothers. He's the fourth Lamb brother. It was so nice having both houses connected. We were able to have breakfast with Grandpa every morning. Thank you for that exposition, my boy. I feel like I feel as though I understand this a lot better. You know, I do think personally that. The ambience of, um, of horror games is somewhat disturbed by the need to explain exactly what we're looking at from the perspective of the main character. I think it's more powerful to sort of come to those conclusions by yourself. I mean, if you see that, it's sort of, I reckon I might have actually felt quite touched by that drawing there. Even if it looks absolutely fucking horrifying and they look like potatoes that are bleeding, um, I would have looked at them and been like, oh, you know, it fills it with a bit more character. And then he says, ah, yes. Out loud, ah yes, my grandpa and I used to sit and fish and he used to he used to pat me on the head and ruffle my hair and say, Oh my boy, you're such a good boy and I would say, Oh grandpa, I do love you and then and then and then we would go home and he would and and, and, and he would and he would return to the bottle and then things would get worse. I'd, I'd be like, oh well, you know, I mean I guess there's no room for, for me to put myself into this. I just I guess it's just happening around me now. Um let me let me take a step back. I'm being too hilarious about this. We need 
We need to fucking think about what we need to do. So we need a tool to open the thing. We've got half of the combination for the thing. And we've got... There must be something to do with that fucking watch. Because why would that be there? And he, and he specifically says, My grandpa dedicated his entire life to clock making. Nine o'clock. Hmm. I wonder if we can... Hold on. No, you can't, like, edit the thing. Can't alter the, the time to sort of match the, 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 the watch. That's a shame. Um, but I wonder if there... <laughs> See, it looks like this is where that would go. The solar medallion. Now, there was another med another clock nearby that we could have maybe inserted the medallion into, but, hmm. Did we actually use this? I don't think we, I don't think we did. Maybe I'm just being stupid about it. Blue knees is real. No, oh, Luigi, L is real! Hey, Mario, I was never intended to be a part of Mario 64. Hello? Hello? Oh, wait, no, I'm being dumb. That's how the demon gets you. That's how the demon gets you. No, you can't be answering the phone. Okie dokie. Um. Eesh. Do we have another another tape to use? I could have sworn we found two of them. No, I think I'm just being stupid. Uh, all right. Well, there's that. And he explains the best thing to do with a demon is just do what the demon says, and the demon will fuck off. So that's good. We'll remember to do that. So if a demon comes up and tells me to post my feet on Twitter, I will certainly do that. Scarlet Raid! Oh, hello! Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for dropping by. Did she actually beat FNAF 5? FNAF 3, sorry. Did she beat FNAF 3? I hope she did. I really hope she did. There's no need to cut off the power right now. She did it! Let's fucking go! Uh, it warms my heart. It warms my heart as a FNAF enthusiast, a FNAF enjoyer, to see more people making their way through the games. She's on the path that I went on long, long ago. She is on the path that I was on where you play the first one to be like, Lamau FNAF, and then you're like, oh, this game is good, and then you play FNAF 2, and then you play FNAF 3, and ever since then, it's just been something that doesn't end. I wonder if I take a picture of this motherfucker. Oh! Right. Got to remember that that's something I can do. Oh. There is a... There is a large pentagram on a boulder or something. Alright, never mind then. Whew. I don't know. If I was... If I was a Luca, if I was a Mafia boss, I don't think I would really trust a well of this description. Oh, hello. Spooky down here. God, oh, the smell. God, the water. Oh, the smell. Disgusting. Must be walking into Vox Alchemist's bedroom. Oh. Ooh, look at them water physics. Very nice. This box is extremely rusty. <laughs> I won't be able to open it easily. Mate, you are submerged. You are submerged in so much water. The smell is dreadful. And he looks at a box and he's like, oh, I won't be able to use that easily. There are more important things at stake here, my boy. There's the way out. Uh-oh. We've been imprisoned. Oh, what's that? That wasn't a second ago. Yeah, I know, mate. And there was also a red thing in the ground. What is that? Hello? 
sort of creature. Oh, it's a... Oh. Is it Russell? Equip. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go around it. We've got to go through it! The motherfucking... Oh, Jesus. Can I... Can I get my... Can I get my thingy back out? Can I... I don't know what Officer Russell wants... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Help me! Mate, you could very easily step over that. Can I get my camera back out? Adam. Burst, 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 burst. I don't think you've, you've really made a very good decision by coming down here, Luca, to be honest. Something over there. You could very easily walk over that, I'm just saying. Oh. There you go. There you go. Eesh. 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 Come on, come on, mate. Running jump. Dark Souls running jump. Hey. You. You. Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, I did the thing. Hang on a minute. I did the thing on Skylar's stream where, where, where she was like, can you do the fatality for Mortal Kombat? And I was like, fatality. You know? Scorpion wins. I'm hungry. Where the fuck? Alright, there's got to be some... Like, uh, for, for, To be honest, from the setup of this, it seemed like I just had to wait for something to happen. I gotta do something. What he's saying must be fucking gibberish. There is no way that's real English. Yeah, I, how do I get the camera out? How do I get the ca- I, I don't think I can! Eh. I'm trying to take a photo, guys, but I don't know how! How do I get the camera back out? Select camera. How? How? Hang on a minute. Yeah, take a photo. This- Remote is bound to my hand. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You know, we all have such fond memories of, like, older video games, you know, like PS2 era games. We think, oh, the graphics were so good, and then you go back and play them today, and it's like... Seeing the graphics is like you're listening to them through this radio. Oh! Oh, you have to hold right... Oh! Oh, hello! 
I was trying to select it with my fucking inventory. Fucking naked grandma running around. <laughs> oh. That isn't normal. That isn't normal at all. Try it. Try that shit again. Wait. Come on! Bam! Right, nothing else happening now. Let me head back into my inventory. Let me have a look at these photos again. Yeah, what happened with this one, eh? It sort of became all demonic. Right, we did that, we got jump scared, and I'm still stuck. Ah, fellas. The Milost arc begins again. Where am I? Who am I fighting? Chat, please, I'm gonna ask you to stop backseating. It's in the rules. For a reason. I understand you're trying to help. But I do not appreciate it. And if I'm lost, then I will be lost. No chat. Sadly, I cannot jump. Poor Luca hasn't figured that out yet. It's not in the Mafia handbook. Oh! Right. Yeah, I figured that might be it. Forgot to develop that one. Oh well. I'll like shake it. Some traffic cones have appeared. One of the scariest things I've ever seen. Traffic cones. Almost. Oh. Jeez. What was that? Take Officer a hunt. Russell here. June 17th, 1987, 5.27. Madison You know, if it wasn't copyrighted, what I would do every I would add a sound effect to my Go It's Alarm, which is the drop from the FNAF 2 song, you know, the BAM! Just that one BAM! Was that the camera flash of 87? Shit. Oh dear. I think I found the missing individuals. Oh dear. Uh, uh, oh dear. They, they, um, they're, they're all mutilated. Legs, arms, they're, they're just everywhere. She must have had some kind of a thing for this. legs and arms. I mean, I like legs, but... I mean, I'm a fan of legs, but this is ridiculous! Oh, you know what I should get? Oh my god, slow, I should get a fucking laugh track.
Madison? Madison? Is, is that you? Yes, yes, it's me, Madison Hale. Where? <laughs> You've stumbled right into my trap. Police! Show yourself. That's an order. You know. Oh. Ooh. We all float down here. Yes, we do. Hiya, Georgie. Put your hands up where I can see them. <laughs> Hiya, Georgie. Don't come in any closer. We all float down here. Happen. Oh. I don't think Officer What's Her Name made it. There it goes. Bang! Oh, fuck me! Oh, Jesus Christ! This fucking camera belonged to that woman. Why is this happening to me? I gotta get the hell out of Hello? I like how I like how Gremlin like I I assume that is Miss Madison Hale herself. Who is that? Who are you? Show yourself! Luca! Luca! It's me! It's Augustus! I'm your imaginary friend! You forgot about me! No! Unpog! I would never forget about you! Oh! Where am I? Can't see shit. Oh, ah, ah, that's the scariest thing of all. It's a really low quality texture. Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, no, it's just blurred. Never mind. Never mind. Game, you're, you're, game, you're fine. You're fine. possible that she's still alive? Show yourself, bitch. What the fuck is this? How do I know which door it is? Huh? Maybe if I take a picture of all of the doors, it will reveal the right one. Because it's got to be like a choice. You know, it's got to be a choice. Got to be like a, ooh, you know. Hmm. I guess we're going. Guess I'm just. Guess I'm walking. You know, it's at times like these where you get a little scared. You just have to remember the ancient adage Forget about it. You know what I mean? Getting chased by demons, getting you know this woman runs at you and you take a picture of her. Like, blah, blah, blah. Eh, forget about it. All right, there are no visual clues as to where in this big empty planning to go. So I'm just gonna open all the doors. Be, 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 be. Oh, that did something. Or the light bulb, huh? What if you're hiding in there? Bang. Oh. I did something. She is hiding in the light bulb. Oh, and all the doors are locked. Oh dear. Oh. 
doors are locked. Ah, I see. Show yourself. Yeah, that's what I thought. This game's got some very creative level design. Like, it's really sort of cryptic and weird and labyrinthy. It goes in directions you wouldn't expect. You know, I always say the best horror games have non Euclidean level design. I was actually looking at my chat and I didn't see what happened. I assume there's a Madison over here. Show yourself. <laughs> oh, Madison. The attic. I don't understand. Oh, my head. Oh, my head. <laughs> Open that up. Oh, the attic. I see. Is it on the back? I guess so. Never know. It's locked. And so we're back here. Comfy, cozy home. Granddad's house. Lovely. Wonderful. Oh! Convenient. Get down here, you! Bango boingo. Oh, oh! <laughs> Almost fell on my head. You gotta be careful when you're pulling a... Uh, attic step, uh, attic step ladder down. You know they could, they they're pretty heavy. They can hurt. Do it, do it with caution. And Luca, you almost took it to the face. That's the real horror here: is poor health and safety in a hazardous environment, guys. You got to bear that in mind. Oh no, it's it's the aftermath of the counting stream. Oh god, she must have had the same challenge that I did. Three minus four is minus one. That's right. And six times a billion is six billion. Nailed it. And fifty-four is a forty-five more than what is the answer, Marta? It's eight. No, it's nine. Yes, I was testing you. It's nine. And that's a magic Shit. number. <laughs> this is strange. Look at that face. Ugh. Yes, Gerald, when you take a family portrait of me, I want you to do a really bad job of masking me in Photoshop and put me on a pure white background. Could you do that for me, dear? Ooh, Giovanna... <laughs> Giovanna Maxwell... 56 years old. Giovanna Maxwell, you have a strange paste in decor. And strange paste? Yeah, you might have some strange paste lying around. Strange taste in decor, certainly. Ooh, Jesus. <sighs> oh. Right, I thought they were gonna say something- I thought, I thought they were gonna say something very creepy there, but no, in, in fact they're just talking about their own mortality. Thank you for the super yen chestnut. I'm just, I'm just banging on about fucking. I wonder if we can use the hammer on that. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Forty-three. <laughs> Odge. Whenever something looks destructible, I'm like, ah, yes, use the camera, the greatest weapon of all. Forty-three. Wonder if that's the safe combination. Forty-three. Let me check the notebook again. Yeah. Yeah, let me down. Oh. Yeah. All right, that's better. Oh, it's not good on my bones. Oh, fuck me. We saw a woman was killed by a police killed a police officer. The forty-three police officer. Forty-three. The forty-three was. Killed by a three-year-old woman. By a three-year-old woman. This sounds like a fucking YouTube poop. 
The 43 was killed by a three-year-old woman. By a three-year-old woman. Three -year -old woman. Killed, <laughs> by, killed by a police officer. The 43 <laughs> police officer. The 43 was killed by a three-year-old woman. By a three-year-old woman. That is, that's fucking YouTube poop sentence mixing. That's so funny. All right, so let's assume 43 right, 5 left. Let's go and find that, that motherfucker then. 43 right, 5 left. 43 right, 5 left. And I don't know if it'll go up to 43, but it's worth a check. You know, it's the only number we've found so far. 43 right, 5 left. 43 right, 5 left. 43 right, 5 left. You take one down, you pass it around. 43 right, 5 left, and the wall, something. Oh, that ain't, oh, oh right, that ain't, this is just a four letter code. Never mind, I mean, 43 might be one of those numbers, but that is definitely not the right one. 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer. You take one down, you pass it around, 98 bottles of beer on the wall. Do you reckon anyone has actually ever in their life finished singing that song? I feel like I would genuinely enjoy that less than the counting stream. Ninety-eight bottles of beer on the wall. Ninety-eight bottles of beer. You take one now and you pass it around. Ninety-seven bottles of beer on the wall. Forty-three was killed by a three-year-old. Killed by a three-year-old woman. In the year nineteen eighty-seven. Killed a police officer. The forty-three police officer. The forty-three police officer was killed by a three-year-old woman. Killed by a police officer. It was said that the three-year-old woman would kill her to death with feces. What? Climb up those stairs a little too slowly for comfort, my boy. Do we have the thingy for that? Oh, we do have the heart key. I wonder if we can use that on a door somewhere. Let's just remember, we know 43 is a significant number now, so we'll just bear that in mind and we'll go and try and find something else. The 43-year-old police officer was killed by a 43-year-old woman. The three-year-old woman. I just. <laughs> oh, wait, did that work? It worked. I was just. Oh. You got a lot of pictures of this bitch. What a mess. Yeah, Grandpa. I don't know what your obsession was with this somewhere. with this lady, but I mean, there's a lot of pictures of her in here. There are meds everywhere. Yes, take your meds, Luca. Clearly what you're seeing isn't normal. Eh. Eh. Ooh. What are these things? I believe those are photographs, you fucking idiot. Hello? Hello? Why would he keep all this? I don't know, he probably needed him! Is he not gonna question, like, why does my grandma not have pupils? So was Madison... Was Madison... <laughs> was Madison Hale his grandma, or is that just a random lady? Grandma's diary. Diary. March 22nd, 1972. They say having a diary is good for the brain. Well, see how this goes for me then. I've never seen a more masculine way of writing in the diary. It's like, well, they say it's good for the brain. See how it goes. Diary entry over. Nothing else happened today, but I did get a diary. Today we went to a garage sale near the center. Oh, found a book of very good recipes. Johnny came back happy with a book too. He was very excited about it. It was a good day indeed. Oh. April 1st. Woke up in the middle of the night again. I swear there was someone staring at me in the corner of the room. Probably an April Fool's joke. I didn't think it was very funny. Today I found all my jewelry scattered all around the room and my wedding ring inside the kitchen sink. I asked Johnny what he was looking for, but he swears he didn't touch a thing. I had to bring Johnny to our bed once again. The book we bought him only causes him nightmares. I have to admit it's a little scary though. 
All my jewels out of place again. Oh, the humanity. I cannot find my wedding ring. It was the cutest gift Albert ever gave me. But today, Johnny wasn't at home. Sometimes I feel as if there was someone else in the house watching every step I take. Albert tells me not to worry. He might think I'm starting to go crazy. Oh, what a relief. I found the ring in John's room. Honestly, I don't know what to think. I didn't get any sleep last night. I could not get that stupid tale of that eyeless monster out of my head. I don't know why we bought him that shitty book. This, this voice is straining my throat quite a bit, but you know what? I'm a fucking idiot. I'm going to keep doing it. I haven't written for a long time. These weeks I've been from a doctor to another. Something is wrong with my eyes. They don't know what is happening to them. My sight is getting blurrier each day and it hurts a lot. God, doctors say that I've lost more than 40% of my sight in these last weeks. Find hard to read, write, watch TV, and even think of other things. My pupils are kind of erasing from my eyes. No grandpa writes like that. I'm tired of medications. Nothing seems to help. I cannot stand the pain anymore. Why is this happening to me? <laughs> okay, I'll do. It's extremely hard for me to... Move around in this house with my eyes like this. I cannot stand the pain anymore. God help me, please. Uh -huh. I'm really scared. I know there's someone in the house, but nobody believes me. I know it's true. Even though I cannot see it, I feel the presence. There's someone living among us. I know there's someone in the house. I heard noises all night long. I swear I heard someone breathing or trying to get a glass of water. Lost more than 80% of my sight. Doctors say they no longer see any solution. I don't want to be in the house anymore. I'm not safe here. My ring is out of place again. But it just doesn't matter. Nobody will be able to find it now. I just hid it underneath. What, I wonder? What did you hide it underneath? The bed! Or the... Whoa! Alright, now I see what you mean. That is a, l that is a lot of meds. That's like eight different people with with a variety of disorders kind of meds. Goodness me. Yep. And surprise, surprise, more meds. Yeah. Ooh. She was so sick. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I did not think that these were the results from some kind of medical examination. I thought that these were instructions on how to operate a fucking oven. Look, they look like the dials from an oven, don't they? I thought that was, I mean, I imagine maybe that's accurate to real life medical diagrams, but at the same time, when I looked at that, I was like, oh, hang on a minute. Is that Madison Hale and our granny hanging out? Is that how this happened? It's just like in Hereditary. It's a family friend who talks to the granny, and then the granny gets everyone haunted. What's this? It's like he looks- he look- he looks at the oven manual in the bedside drawer, and he's like, Oh, she was so sick. She forgot how to use the fucking oven, the bitch. <laughs> Ooh, wait a minute. Hang on a minute. I see yourself. <gasps> yes. Rotate perfect. Alright. Must locate more of the planets. Must locate more of the planets. And once we have located every planet, we might finally be able to see what the solar system has in store for us. Get, get the frick out of my mind. You gotta stop doing that shit, guys. I know it's a scary game, but it scares me. I don't want that shit to happen. Um. All right. Well, we've got the number forty-three now. Ah. <gasps> oh. All right. I'm no longer scared. Oh yeah, some bolt cutters would be great because then we could get this thingy open. I reckon you could just slip those chains off if you got a chair, you know, you just sort of like slotted them off. But oh dear, it appears our lovely Luca 
me just... Perhaps the Luca in this game just isn't very bright. Then again, neither am I. Got a bit of a silly brain. <sighs> it's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to come. It's a long, long way to Tipperary, to the sweetest girl I know. Goodbye. Chat? Is this game listening to me? What song is he talking about? There's no song playing. A three-year-old woman, a old woman was killed by people. What the fuck, chat? What the fuck was that? I am scared now. I was singing, and he says, that song. Where else is the song playing in the game, Luca? Oh, there is a, there is a song. Right, thank fuck. I thought the game was actually listening to me. It figured out I was singing, and he's like, that song. <gasps> it's a long... By a three-year-old woman. A three-year-old woman was killed by a police, killed a police officer. The 43 police officer. Oh, no, leave it on. It's funny. What? Wait, we haven't been... Oh! Oh Mary Magdalene, I, I do believe someone's having someone's having their way with you. You've got to, you've, you've got you've got to get off the source. Hello. Yeah, stop it with that song, all right? Good. Ooh. Is that me? Dad's room. <gasps> Dad's room. Oh. I have a feeling we might encounter that fucking statue. <laughs> am I am I going insane? Yes, I believe it's all just a hallucination, my boy. It'll 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 get better. Just remember to take these pills three times a week. Four meals. Film to put in that. Oh, this is cozy. Little cinema room. With the trademark fucking cockroaches. Ooh. Grandpa never got over her death. Ah, I see. Oh, we've got the slides though. Right, it's that of course I'm stupid, it's that kind of projector. Oh, hello. Grandma. You slipped in quite quite effectively. Hang on, you... Right now, it's just a shadow. You're, you're not... It's not just a torso floating, although that is a very long shadow. A very dark shadow. Oh, do you guys remember the scene from It? With the fucking... the pictures. Oh, that was a good scene. That shit was scary. Like, It's not the scariest movie in the world, but that was a good scene. Are you not thinking about how this statue has just stood in front of it and is like, Lamar. I'm gonna get jump scared by this, I know it. Like, it's just gonna appear in my face any second now. These photos are pretty old. There's also a moving statue! Oh, these pictures are pretty old. Alright, I guess we got that now. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Who's that? Oh, shit. I fucking knew it was going to be like it. I'm electing to move on. So I'm just going to 
check out what's down here. Solar medallion, not so. Little cuckoo clock. Little cook the cuckoo cock. Grandpa's office. Grandpa. Grandpa's office. If you need the combination, you know where to find it. <gasps> ah. It's the clock. Very clever. Have you ever talked to a dead I loved one? Spiritual lockets allow contact with the ones we've time, lost. We thought he went mad. But That's the safe we're looking for. Okay. Is that dad? Is that granddad? <laughs> also, quite poorly rotoscope. Pasquale Maxwell. Pasquale. Well, there's another safe down here. I think there'll be quite so many. Alright, so we know it's five left. It's not 43. It's not 43. Uh oh. The door has closed behind us. Ooh, I'll take a picture of that. Might be useful. Phone number, you know. Emergency services. Hello. Hello. Don't want to go outside. I'm just going to take a picture of it. Yeah. Yeah, fuck off. Don't care, mate. Alright, alright. Hold on, hold on. What time is that? What time is on the thing? Show me. Show me the magic. Game, you really, you really busted my. Hey, game, you're breaking my fucking balls out here. I don't want to go out there. It's all red and nasty. Hello. All right, it's fucking two o'clock. Okey dokey. Five left, two right. One, five left. Wait. One. Um. It only moves in, in, in increments of five. That's a little unhelpful. Hang on, mate. Five left. Huh? Huh? Five left. Two right. Hmm. Here's the thing. Oh. You need to stop fucking with the doors around me. I feel like the guy from Fantastic Mr. Fox. I'm like, yeah, I have a phobia of that. Is the statue still out here? Nope, statue's fucked off. The statue's doing something else at the moment. It must be this clock then. Yeah. Oh no, that's the minute hand. It's fu- ah. Don't do that shit to me. I know you're just fucking with me. Alright. Fuck. Now, come on, you Breaking my balls out here. Oh, Joseph Abraham Lakester. I read rune cards, tarot cards, and connect with the past loved ones in the spirit world. Direction, clarification, guidance, and outcome via tarot and runes. Yes, Grandpa never got over her death, so he's consulted every possible way of seeing her again. That's a good storyline for horror games, I think. Or horror anything, you know. When it comes from a human place. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. You know where to find it. On the fucking clock towel. Is it like... Is it like... That... And then that? 
Bup, bup. Bup, bup, bup. Nope. I've never really used a combination lock before. Um. Whoop. Bing. I'm scared now. I wonder if there's a different cock I can use. How many cringe moments have you captured so far? Oh, many. There's this statue. Won't fucking leave me alone! Keeps wandering around! Personally, I think it's quite cringe to behave in such a manner, but, you know, I wouldn't be the first one to think so. Hello, Albanian. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And personally, I'm playing this fucking game. It's scaring the shit out of me. Although I'm trying my best not to show it, because I'm a big boy. <laughs> and this thing is also operating by itself. Hey, I'm not cringe. I'm poggers. The complete opposite of cringe. Probably the most pog individual you could meet. Other than Luca, of course, but then again, you know, it's kind of like a key part of his personality. Alright. I'm losing my mind here. You know that if you need the combination, you know where to find it. We know it's five left. That much we know. Five left, and then we look to a clock for the second part. There is a clock right here, and the clock reads two o'clock. So I try going... ba da -ba. Up, up, up. Unless it's the other way around. Up, up, up. Nope. Unless it's like that. And then like that. Nope. And then remember guys, no backseating. I am, me being stupid is part of the experience. You gotta learn that. Use my brain. What brain? I don't, I don't know if there is much. I don't know if there's much left. I'm just a big baby. I'm just a big baby playing a spooky puzzle horror game. I knew this was going to happen. I knew I was going to sit here and get all spooked out. I knew I was going to get all spooked out, and then I was going to struggle to solve a puzzle. <laughs> Wee. Yeah. Two on the minute hand, five on the hour hand. I'm I'm gonna go look at the note again. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Let's just hope the fucking statue doesn't follow me. Alright, statue, I know you don't like me, I don't like you either. Yeah, you're over there. Now you stay there. Bitch. Dad's room is locked. What a shame. What a shame. Those two are you and me. Some other girl and guy find the cassette on the floor, but there's only you and I. We've got no shot. Something right. Fi oh, it's five left. Oh. Well, I thought I knew that, yeah. Blank right, five left. Let's check some other clocks around here. This could never be. Ba -bum -ba -bum. You're not the type for me. And there's not a spark inside. What a waste of a lovely night. Okay, well actually, this is the same... Or it's right next to the room where we found the thing for the combination, so... Five left, and there's something up top of it to the right. Uh, fucking. Um, that's also five left. Huh? 
Whoa. Oh, the clock's haunted as well. It just changed the time. Bull's head. The bull. Why does that bull have two horns? He's cheating. You're not allowed to have that many. He's got... He's got... Ones on each. Is this a stag? Some kind of great moosh? He's cheating. He's got too many. Oh, yeah. He moved. Can we do anything over here now? Nope. In fact, I believe that is an invisible wall. Oh, an elk. Yes, I quite like elk. Great majestic creatures. Moose, on the other hand, are fucking terrifying. Meeses. Meese are quite fucking terrifying, aren't they? Gigantic creatures that just sort of walk around and go like... Rrr. Do they actually ride moose in Canada, or is that a myth? I'd love it if they did. It'd be very cool. I'd like to ride a moose. Although I'd be scared of him. Breaking my balls, eh? Oh, I just realized the heart monitor is over chat. That's a great oversight on my part. Hey, oh. Bring that over here. Come on, next to me, baby. Liam Meeson. It's a myth. Oh man. Oh man. It's a myth. Right, so we know it's five left. We know it's bloody five left. Kiss us. What chat? You want a kiss? Why don't you beg for it, eh? I'm not trying to solve a puzzle. I ain't got time. Well, where's the statue gone? Oh shit, I'm scared now. Ooh. Statue in here? Statue's just kind of gone. Alright. Five left. I guess. Would five left be there, or would it be down there? Hmm. So we go right first. Hang on. Hmm. Oh wait, I'm remembering how these works. I'm remembering how these... I remember how these works. You gotta go like, bam. Oh, you're all being so very good about it. All right. A little kissy on the forehead for you. Oh, Daddy, please give me a kiss. Oh, I do love you. Man, man, what the fuck is going on in this game, man? The hell? Clock. Two. Five left. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, no, shit, a second. So, wait. Two right. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Huh? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Huh? Imagine if I'd gotten it right and there was just like an E button or something I had to press. It. E. Vox Akuma wins. Brain shit fart. I tried to come up with something clever there and I got absolutely shafted. Staring at this every way I can. Yeah, two. Five. Maybe I gotta do both. I don't know. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Wait. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Fucking hell, mate. 
one, two, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Um, going absolutely nuts. If you need the combination, you know where to find it. Clocks. Are there multiple clocks I could use? Do we have to add these up? Seven. Seven! Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Stop backseating chat. You're not clever. It's not big and it's not clever. I used to have a teacher who used to say that to me. All right, stop calling out in class. It's not big and it's not clever. And whenever he said that, we always used to be like, oh, yes. Oh, God, he's got me there. Is there a cock in here? Much to my dismay, I am cockless. Oh, doesn't work anymore. Damn. Where's the fucking clock? Come on! <gasps> Give it back! <sighs> oh, she's back. Lovely. Well, what does it matter? She's back! Oh, and she, there she goes. Fucking hell. She's back down here again. Literally right as I had to... I popped the Gandalf quote on her and then she decided to go and, and, to go and abuse me. You're breaking my balls, eh? Right, we got 11 over on this one. But then again, it keeps moving. This one moves. Hello, Shoto. So far, the game's given me a few jumps, but overall, the scariest thing about it is how the fuck I'm going to solve all these puzzles. Let's see what happens here. It moves! How is this an answer to the puzzle? Nine. One. Nine. One. Get out of my car now! 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 You are at the hospital. Administration is right here. Get out of my car now. Get out of my car now. Get out of my car now! What? Like, I want to get the answer from this clock because it says that in the clue, but the clock keeps changing. Which one is it, game? As clocks do, the hands move. <laughs> all right, hold on. <laughs> I guess it's also important to look at the number of lines on this one, but I'm pretty sure it just says, yeah, you go, you go something. Oh, wait, no, there's another one. Ah, there's another one up top. So I'm imagining it's left first, blank right, five left. So obviously it ends in five left. Something right, and then at the top there's another one. So I'd say it's something left. All right, let's try this one, right? Let's try nine left, five right, five left, or two right, one of them. Let me just, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute, we shall assemb as assemble some pictures. We'll assemble a picturegram. Where's the statue gone? Is it down here now? Oh, you're breaking my balls out here. I don't know why I've become obsessed with that phrase. It makes me laugh a lot. Alright, so it ends in five left. We got two right here. Okie dokie. So. And it began, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two. That was not it. One, 
I guess may, do, that's also another thing, right? Does it reflect its position on the clock? Or is it just a number? Oh. I don't understand this shit, man. How do you do puzzles like this? How do you do puzzles like this, motherfucker? Keep taking pictures down there, just being like, Ha! I gotcha. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I thought a little bit too hard. You're gonna love this. This is my normal state. Me dumb. And this is Ultra Instinct. And this is to go even further beyond! And then I start thinking in basic mathematics. If I go even further beyond, I can calculate like 3 plus 2. Um, fuck, I don't know, man. If you want the combination, you know where to find it. So it's something left, right, left. And I would assume it's in the order of the clocks that we have found. Maybe it's like two and then five. It's this clock. So this one isn't moving, to be fair. So two left, five right, five left. Let's try it. Bom, bom. One, two, I am sad. <sighs> My brain is getting tired, chat. I, I don't know what to do. See, people are just giving me the combination. I'm not reading it. I can't remember what the fuck they're saying, but it's very frustrating, guys. You gotta let me- you gotta give me a chance! You gotta give me a chance! Backseating is against the rules. She's gonna watch a movie. Elizabeth- alright, so we're the Maxwells. Alright, so- Oh, hello. <laughs> There's addition involved, eh? Eh? What if there's a what if there's maths involved? Then I'm really fucked. Hmm. Oh, we did get another tape, didn't we? Let's go and listen to the tape. That will that might a little bit of a refresher, you know, just a little refresher, change up what we're dealing with. As soon as that bitch moves on a rotation, she just kind of like teleports her. Ooh! That scared me more than anything in this game. My, my, I stopped sooner than I thought I would, and I thought someone was stood right in front of me. Yeah, basic mathematics. Jesus Christ, what a disaster that would be. Alright, let's have a listen to the tape. Take number two. Becoming possessed by a wicked entity is signified by a loss of control over the body, mind, and the soul. However, that is often not enough for the entity. It hungers for more. Things get much worse for the host. In these cases, possession is just the first step of the demon's plan. 
It is said there are those that return to our world seeking to resolve. Ah, and they want a host in order to do that, I see. Victims of these wicked Unfinished matters? What should that mean? A departure of sorts. An astral transportation, for lack of a better word. I'd say we've been astral projecting for a while. An astral what? beings force their hosts huh? to, to live moments that shouldn't be possible in a different place and time. Perhaps even in a different dimension altogether. It's madness. It's unclear whether these transportations occur the inside Yeah, it's all the an illusion, guys. We're not, we're not, we're not in any, any real danger, are we? Alternative reality. Alternative reality? Alternative reality? Losing my Fucking, mind. I am losing my mind. Wee. Okie dokie then. We're back out here. Let's have a look for every fucking clock we can find, I swear to god. What's she doing out here now, eh? What's she doing out here? Oh man. Oh! <laughs> there she goes. This shit is still the funniest thing in this fucking game to me, the way he was pointing. Aha! There is another. There's also this thing. We never found, like, the lock for that, so... Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, they're trying to call me again, but that's how the demon gets you. I've played Mortuary Assistant. I know this. I'm not going to answer it. Hmm. I, g I think there are three clocks like this, so maybe... We got two clocks like that. Hmm. Hold on a minute. That's the first clock. Because the clocks would be in the order in which we see them. So that's the first clock. And then the hour hand on the first clock says 11. Right. Can a demon possess another demon? Oh, yeah. Seen it happen before. It's a terrible business. There's another clock. Damn, now there are now there are more clocks and there's only three oh, for fuck's sake, game, you need to you need to throw me a bone here. And when I'm rolling in the Benjamins, I will throw you and your dog a bone. Good night! Come on, Patty, I'm on this. You're on this? You're on this? He's walking all over you! Have I possessed anyone? Oh, yes. I've possessed all of you, haven't I? Possessed all of you with this wicked... With this wicked desire to, 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 to send me super chats so that I'll give you a little kissy noise. Isn't that good? Oh, and that's five! Oh, I get it! Okay, okay. Here we go. So, let us check my records, my personal records. Are you careful with your personal records? Do you have a sweet tooth? All right, so we've got these clocks. First clock, 11. Second clock. Which one? Which one is it? Which, which fucking one is it? 11, 5, 5. That's not it, is it? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Ah! <laughs> hey, fucking, 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 fuck. I'll try nine. I'll try nine. All right. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five.
My brain is not cooperating today. Oh, God. I've studied all the clocks. I've studied everything and... None of it makes any sense to me. Thank you for all this encouraging supers, but I don't know if they'll help. I am very silly. <laughs> the puzzles. Maybe we add them up. Eh? Maybe we add them up, eh? Seven. Eh? That one reads five, so it makes sense that it would fit with the five left being on the document, right? <sighs> the only thing we know is that the last number is five. Would you stop opening that door? I know it's just a sound effect. It's not working on me. I'm, I'm, I'm more frustrated with this fucking safe. I'm going back. I'm going to check the fucking document again. Hello. <sighs> it's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. Paddy bought a paper for his Irish Molly. Oh, said, uh, w w what is it? He said, should you not receive it, write and let me know. <sighs> Combination. Blank, something right, five left. So it implies the first one should be left. The first one is left, second one is right, and the last one is left again. See, this one's changing. It can't be that one. They have to be the clocks we found throughout the house. The first one reads 11. Yeah. The first one is 11. The second one is... 5. Or 12. Should we go through... Are we, are we doing minute hands or... Well, no, like the... It can't be 12, 12, can it? Maybe it is the maybe it is the hour hands. Twelve twelve. Hmm. Worth a try. Twelve twelve. Doggy dog, thank you for the Aka Super Oatmeal Fun. Give you wisdom. Oh brain food is it? I, I, I have some I have some, I have some oatmeal. Both of them, it was 12, wasn't it? Yeah. 12, 12, with the smaller hand. And then the 5 on this clock is also with the smaller hand. And we know that 5 is the third number. So 12, 12, 5. 1, I think it's just 1 all the way around. Wait, no, that's right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, no, no. One, two, three, four, five. I heard the door clunk scare sound effect and I thought I'd done it for a second. Madison, you strange bitch. Which one is it? Who's that person in the picture frame? Your dad, mate. Ugh.
Ugh. I'm out here losing my mind. Thank you, Nia, for the kiss. Definitely need it. 33 years old? That doesn't help. It's reassuring to know that Ike hated this part as well. <sighs> I don't have a big juicy brain. My brain is small and shriveled and shriveled. I've only got one big juicy thing on me right now, but I don't think it's going to really help with this. It might actually hinder it. Are you winning, my lord? No. <laughs> no. And what is that, my lord? Oh, wouldn't you like to know? Stick around and find out. We'll reveal it after the break from our f with it, after these messages. I f my my brain feels like a. Trying to tell me new information is like pouring sand into a fucking colander. It's just not it's just not going to stay there. We've got pictures of all the clocks in the house. We don't need to go back. And the note says, if you want the comp if you want the combination, you know where to find it, and it tells you to look at the clock. If only that gave us some indication of whether he was talking about the minute hand or the hour hand. But the clue for the hour hand is essentially that this the last clock we find before the safe implies that it's the hour hand, because we know that the final one is five left, and this points to five. So if you look at the hour hand for both of the other ones, it's fucking twelve. But twelve is not right. So, which one is it, game? I, I don't understand. There's this one, but this one moves, so I'm very much under the, under the impression that this is not correct. Hmm. Let me see if there's a clock I've missed. I mean, what about what about that one that was moving? Hmm. Okay, oh, The thing is, the, the clock was pointing to the number 10, so maybe with the moving clock, we wait until it says 10, eh? Hmm? See, when it's 10, this one says a 1 on the hour hand, so maybe it's 1, eh? Fucking hell, mate. It would make sense. I mean, now that it's pointing to 10, the little one is pointing at 1, eh? God, the back seeing just doesn't stop. Can you guys, like, catch a break for three minutes? I'm sure there are much more important things to do with those clearly massive brains of yours. I'm not a baby. I'm a big boy. I can solve it myself. It just might take me a while because I'm really stupid. 
Rio Hoshino, thank you for the Aqua Super. You get lost. Maybe there's a clock in the attic. I haven't been in the attic for a while. You never know. Um, nope. No, there isn't. Okay, back down we go. Fucking hell. My heart rate is low because right now nothing scary is happening. Right now, I'm entering a state of such dumb zen. There is so little happening in my brain that my heart is working less hard to power it. Nothing on the back, nothing hidden. Combination blank right, five left, and implicitly, do not use. Oh, if, we, if we're able to cut the, um, able to find some bolt cutters or something, then maybe finally we can take a shit. It would kind of make sense to use this to op be able to open this door, right? Because the clock is on it. I don't have any keys. That's just an empty hole. I'm going slightly balmy, but I, I I think I just have to accept that balmy is going to be my state of mind for a while. Uh, I felt this way when I played Resident Evil 2. Like, the game was great, but I think it's just lost on me because it takes me so long to solve even the most basic of puzzles. in there. Alright, we do have to get in there. We do have to get in there. Aha! Alright. I think we need a key for it, so what I'm gonna do is explore a little further afield. I haven't been back in the basement for a while. I don't know if there would be anything in the basement, but there might be. Didn't think so. Anything in here? Eh. 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 I wonder if the demon targeted poor Luca because he's so bad at opening cupboards. He's clearly not got massive arm strength, does he? I wonder if... Hmm. I wonder if the... We've got... Hmm. We've got like this... The solar medal. I wonder if one of the clocks. I think we've tried it on all the clocks, but in the grandpa's room, there was that safe in the back which used the dials. Hmm. But of course, I don't. Yeah, I don't think that this fits anywhere here. This one, especially. Hmm. Let me have a think about this for a sec. Do any of them fit on the clocks? Because they look like they would, don't they? Hmm, maybe not.
<sighs> yeah, this one definitely goes here. Okay, and thank you for the soup. Can I? Oh, of course you can get a little kissy. Of course you can have a little little kissy. Zoom in on the meds. Clearly, I need to take them. Maybe that's how I can see the way. See the way forward. Figure out what the fuck I'm doing. God damn, it's hot in here. Are there any more medallions around? Any more whatsoever? God, I miss the days when this was just about taking a picture of fucking granddad. Still got this thing here. Pictures of the limbs, although we've already been to the limb dimension downstairs. Oh, hello. Nah, that fucker's broken. I don't know if I can do this. I think I genuinely might be too stupid. Well, we know we need to go into the clock room to find the last thingy, because we've heard clocks in there, so it would make sense. But where is the key for it? There is an indeterminate key somewhere within this large level, and I've got no fucking idea where to find it. Oh yeah, now wait a minute, there was something the granddad said. The granddad said that he hid something under something. He hid it under blank. I read that in his diary. Oi, hey, don't, you, don't you shut in my face. Don't you shut in front of my face. Alright. He hid something under something. We can't crouch, but for my money, if I'm going to hide anything under something, it'll be under the bed. Right? I can't see... Anything under the bed? It makes sense to be under... We're just looking at the floor. I'm just looking somewhere at the floor. That side of it's locked, but the other one is not. That's where we got the slides. Mm -hmm, the clock. The broken clock. Ah, yes, he hid it under the table where we'll find all of my previous guests who I have kept there. In some kind of ritualistic nightmare. I am Madison, what's her name? Aha! Under the sink! Nope. 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 It ain't there. What did he say? Hang on a minute. Uh, my ring is out of place. No one will be able to find it now. I just hid it underneath. Something. Going absolutely crazy. Out of here, man, I just want you to throw me a bone. Good night. Oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, collectible. Well, it doesn't help, but I'm glad I found it. Oh, hello. <laughs> 
and now she's chilling in here. Can't help but feel that we've exhausted our options in there. I really can't find anything down there. There's something around here. There is no need to There's no need to cut the power off right now. Yeah, I'd agree. I don't want to cut the power off. Is there something back in the basement? I'm officially getting really bored. <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I just, I don't know. Something about, at least for my money, something about just wandering back and forth in some giant level in search of a really tiny key just doesn't really seem like my idea of fun. Albert Maxwell. Is that no, that's not us, that's like a younger like a younger brother or something. Or Albert Maxwell. Or maybe that's our dad when he was young. Now I wonder if hmm. We take the picture of the dad from the other place, maybe that'll do something. Keep watch. He didn't stop me from solving the puzzle, bitch. Hold on. Can I grab this? I can! I didn't think I could! Must have missed it. Excuse me, can you not do that? Can you not do that? Please refrain from doing that. Officially entered scary mode. Boom. We are entering the scary zone. <laughs> Bitch was moving on the Z axis. All right. Ain't nothing in the... Bitch was moving on the Z-axis. All right. Uh, okay, so now we've got this. Let's see if we can make this work. So that one's in the right place. What about the next one? Um, Mercury, Venus, Uranus, <laughs> Neptune. <laughs> Mars and Jupiter. Oh, we've got to position them like the solar system. That would make sense. Mercury and Venus come first. I believe that's Earth and then Mars. That's uh, Mars and Jupiter. All right, excuse me, you're coming here. Mars comes after Earth. I guess maybe that's just a really bad depiction of a different planet. Yeah, it's Mars. Hang on. Oh, that's... Oh, wait, we got that one the wrong way around. Okay, hold on. Mercury's blue. Gotcha. What the hell? 
Yes, let me use my hammer for the first time in a while. Wink. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Okay. Sixty-eight years old, Philomena Maxwell. Yeah. Ooh. So Grandpa tried to contact Grandma. That's the locket. Thing? Is that blood? See, the way horror games work, generally, is that they tend to sort of, like, mark your pro- Oh. They tend to kind of, like, wait for you to progress past a certain point so that you can sort of trigger something. And then it's like, oh, scary time. Where am I? I would move, but I can't see shit. Excuse me, I'm, I, need, I need to come this way. Ooh. Scary statue? Scary statue anywhere? Anybody for a scary statue? Anybody at all? Oh my god! Oh, I don't like that! I don't like that! I don't like that. I really don't like that. That is quite nasty. And the way it's just staring at me, oh boy. Alright, um... Hello, bitch. You alright? You gonna run at me? Like, rawr. Come on, give me a Smeagol run. Give me your best, uh, 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 Give me your best Smeagol grin. Smile for the camera! Gotta go, can't go over it, can't go under it. Boom. Boom, fuck you. That's not so bad. Oh. Boom. Boom. Boom, baby. Boom, baby. Alright, fuck you. I'm going this way. I thought I had the... Wait, no, I don't have the key. I just got a picture. Maybe go into the attic now. Can you, can you, like, do something in response to the camera, or are we just fucked now? Oh, right. Okay, so she was, she was, she was, she was just standing there. She was just like, where? Like, that wasn't a boss encounter. She was just kind of being, being a little, being a little spooky. Being a little spooky. Okay, fair enough. Well, we've got another picture now. Uh, I've got the dad, who we can put here. Good chunk. And we've got grandpa. Who we can put... Oh, there's another clock. I forgot there was another clock up here. Hmm. Right, where would we put him, I wonder? 43. The 43-year-old woman killed a 3-year-old woman. 43-year-old woman. Oh, that's in the wrong place. Mm -hmm. Then... the baby. Goes here. Am I missing something else? Apparently not. What? Apparently I am. I got all the family members I got. Granny. I got granddad. Granddad! I got dad. I got me. Well, someone else. Brother, I guess. There were no other spaces to put portraits up. Is that one? Hmm. I'm losing it. Nyla, thank you for the super. Yeah, I guess you do just have to assert your dominance. It's like the, uh, you know, the stranger shuffle. You just gotta stare at them and kind of walk with a wider stance and be like, don't you? Like, I'm gonna walk my way, you're gonna walk your way, wait, alright? You know, someone's gotta take charge in that situation. 43. Yep, hammer doesn't work there. 
Uh, I don't know. What's in the note? We got that. We got that. Dad's head. Mom's arm. Sister's leg. Oh, so they're all dead. Damn. Shame. Flintstones? Yeah, so what the fuck else do we do up here? Yeah, what else do I do? I went under the awning. It's still raining. I did what I was supposed to. That's not fair. Ooh. Sunlight. I am... I guess we gotta find another picture. Is there any... Is there one hanging around? Still locked. Fucking hell, mate. Is the clock puzzle done? No. But I figured we, we this would be the way of getting... Oh, hello. Figured this would be the way of getting into this room where the remaining clocks are, I would imagine. Yeah, Luca's notebook definitely missing the pog. Dude, my parents are dead on pog. Trapped in this house on pog. Not me, not Hermione, you. I don't know what we use on this thing. Gotta pry it up, but the I don't know. Yeah, they're all in the right slots. They're all in the right slots. I, s I have seen no other portraits around the house. There is that, but the thing is, you can't interact with it, so it's surely nothing goes up there. Game, what do you want from me? I'll try and take, try and take a picture. Fuck it, fuck all has happened with that. Fuck all has happened. Oh, statues in here, fuck me. Hello. Well, we gotta take them all down, eh? Get rid of them all. I'm carrying too much already. Oh, fuck. How do I get rid of shit? Can I drop something? I don't- I genuinely don't think I can. Alright, there's no way that we can take everything down, so we'll put them all back up. Circle portrait of Grant of Dead. And we got Mommy. We got grand dead, and fucking nothing happens. There's a clue, perhaps. Nope, no clue to speak of. Yeah, this really does remind me of Resident Evil 2, man. Like, I'm just- I'm just wandering around this giant landscape trying to find one tiny specific thing. Uh. Where's the statue? Don't know. Somewhere nearby. Statue's always keeping an eye on me. It's like my guardian angel. Only it's probably trying to kill me. <laughs> A lot of portraits here. Got this one lady. There's the locket. 
Yeah, we had something happen in here after I did that. There was that that opened that. Uh. Candles are lit. Strange. No one's in this house. Ain't nobody around here. I'm officially, I'm, I'm officially freaking it. I am, I am, I am so lost. Hello, bitch. You, you're standing, you're standing in front of a clock that I may need to interact with. Bitch. Oh, no, there, there she goes. Yeah, I guess I'm not alone. You know what? I'm just going to be a baller about it. I'm just going to go down to the basement and see if anything happens there. And if I die, I die. It'll be a preferable alternative than having to sort this fucking puzzle again. Waste of time. There is that. Hmm. Nine o'clock. Hmm. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Nine. Nine o'clock. Hmm. Oh, but, I mean, we know that we've got to get in here. You know, because through here we hear the clocks. We know there's more clocks in there. I got, I got, I got to stand up. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm making a fucking imprint in my chair. Ugh. Jesus. Christ. Oh. There's just, there's just nothing to be done. 
Maybe it's to do with the clock on the couch. Maybe one of the numbers is nine, but I could have sworn we'd already done nine. And we need to get into that room with the clock. Yeah, what, what the fuck did we unlock by doing this part? What the fuck did we unlock by doing this bit? Was it nothing? Because we only, f we got in here and we found like the locket. But what else? Like we did that whole thing with the planets. What we got a we got a scare, and then we put all the portraits up, and nothing fucking happened. Bang! Yeah. Everyone gets stuck here. If everyone gets stuck here, I am not going to make it past this. I have to be honest, I, 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 am, I am on the verge of just picking a different game. I am really at the end of my tether with this part. It's like giant level, but somewhere extremely specific is a tiny, 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 tiny little thing that you need to find, and the game gives you no, like, pointer for where that might be, and so this is less a horror experience and more just, I don't know, walking around and being bored. <laughs> I'm not angry, I'm just like, ugh. I guess it's weird because it felt like I was onto something, like with all the portraits. I put all the portraits up and we did all the whole thing with the planets and then it literally led nowhere. Like it quite literally, nothing happened. Koda chan, thank you for the Akasu, but no, don't worry about it, like... No, I ain't changing game yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about it. Like, did putting the portraits up here in the correct places actually do something, or what? Like... Yeah, no, when we found the number 43, it started the, the guy on the TV saying the YouTube poop, which was probably the most enjoyable part of this game for me, just the... What was it? What, what was it? It was like, the 43-year-old woman was killed by a 3-year-old woman. Taking a picture of the 43. <laughs> Shit all. Nothing. <sighs> Got some maths around here. Hello. <laughs> the, murdered by a three-year-old woman. Yeah, my brain is mush. I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not thinking about the game at all. I'm trying to, but it's just gone beyond me at this point. I've taken a picture of that like 75 times. I hope I managed to catch the statue trying to climb the stairs. How does it do that? How does that fucking statue climb the stairs? Can't be easy for it. Maybe I put the portraits in the wrong place. Hmm. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Let me try something. 51. 33. Oh. 
51. 51. And let me guess, 51. Alright, so that's not a solution at all. Um, oh. Huh? 38. Oh. Oh, right. Thirteen. I'm carrying too much already. Twenty-five. All right. Well, which of them? Sixty-eight. Fifty-six. Thirty-three. None of them. None of them are those numbers, though. None of them are those numbers. Stick that up there for now. None of them are those numbers. Ten. Oh yeah, well that would that would work, right? Five years old. Five years old. What? What? You'd think each one would be relative to the age of the portrait that should go there, but none of them are that old. Math is here. Forty-three. Is forty-three like a? Like a fucking subtraction I've got to try. Is there like a mathematical symbol hidden between them? Like, oh, this times that equals that? How, the, how do I make 43 with the ages when one of them is fucking 60-something? <laughs> Forty-three. Oh, yeah, that would make sense. Thirty-eight plus thirteen equals fifty-one. Forty-three. Ten plus thirty-three is forty-three. Okay, that I can work with. Ten plus forty-three. Ten plus thirty-three. This guy's thirty-three. I need to make one All right. first. Five. Obviously, it's not him. Yeah, 68. 56. But there's not a lot of... What in the... What in the... What in the... What in the fucking... <sighs> like, that... The, the, what, yeah, but, like, I get what it's trying to say. Like, add up to 43. 10 plus 33 is 43. But where do you put them relative to which, like mathematical thing, like, minus plus whatever. Yeah, like, where do I place them that denotes subtraction? I don't have any room for that. What the fuck is this game? Am I just dumb? Man only knows quick maths. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three quick maths. Oh. Yeah, Chelsea, thank you for the Akka Super. No, I am dumb. Oh. oh, yeah, the fucking... Okay, that's me being dumb. Yeah, the number's on the wall. Okay, hold on. Hang on a minute. So, 10, 25, 13, 38. So. We need to use the portraits to make them add up to 43. So the kid goes on the diamond. 
Okay, no, that was me being dumb. I saw a very clear clue and just completely fucking forgot about it. No, I am being dumb. Don't worry about it. Kid goes on the diamond. That works. Wait, wrong thing. 13 plus uh, 33. Wait, which one is 13? Fuck. Wait, which one's 13? The hexagon. So dad was in the right place. He goes on the hexagon. And then... 56 and 68. So those have to be accurately subtracted as well. Okay. 38 on the... Yep, d uh, done that with the kid. 25 and then 10. I'm thinking lady goes here. She was younger. And then grandpa goes here. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Hang on. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Wait, no, I, I, was, I was being stupid. The dad's 33. He goes on 10. He goes- Dad goes on the square. I'm being stupid. I'm being stupid. Madame is real. Madame is real, but that's fine. Dad goes on the square. Thirteen on there. All right, thirteen. Fifty-six. Thirteen, fifty-six. Yep, she goes here. And then surely Grandad would go here then. Oh. Wait, the lights flicker. Oh. oh shit! I'm scared now. That's pretty spooky. Someone's gonna jump at me. Hello? Hello there? Baba boy. Ain't something funny. Oh fuck, I don't like that. Oh. Thank fuck it chickened out. Jesus. That was nasty. Ooh. What's this? Equip. Is that a lighter? Kid, you alright? Shouldn't be having a lighter. Aha! Handprints. All sorts of nasty things. There are handprints. I know that! I can see them quite clearly. Hang on now. Ooh. Just sort of loops around. Interesting. So I've got a slight curve to it. And I love things with curves. Stop. That's good, it means safe area, right? Yeah, completely safe. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, fuck me! Oh, it's a loop. It's a loopity doopy. All right, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, okay, that's successful. So it's straight ahead. And then... To the right. Oh, no, this ain't right. Unless... Unless it is. I don't like this. Ah, I don't.
don't like this at all. The game has suddenly become scary again. Oh boy. Right, that ain't it. That ain't wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 I signed up to play the scary game. I shouldn't be surprised when it scares me. Hello. Fucking way is it? I need to know where the start is. Jump out of me again, I fucking dare you. I'll rip your tits off. Ooh! Okay, I shouldn't have said that. Clearly that offended her quite a bit. Alright, um. Is she showing me the way? No, I wouldn't have think so. I think it's just wh whichever way you're facing she pops out at. This way. This will do it. This will do it. Nope. I believe that's wrong. Fuck me, mate. Oh, hello? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, this... Fucking... I'm lost again! It didn't take long, did it? Are right, you gonna jump out at me now? Where? Oh, damn. I was wrong. Now! Where? I was wrong. Where? Oh, there she is! <laughs> it always gets me a little bit, though. I, I, I hate her design. It's really, genuinely, pretty effectively scary. I don't know why, I think old ladies are like the creepiest <laughs> like combination for me. I don't know why, the like the mum from Mandela Catalog is like, Steven, I have a present, scares the ever-loving shit out of me. I don't like that. Oh, hello. What's the name? Found a collectible, not exactly what I wanted. You know, I wanted to find a way out of this fucking maze. Oh, hello. Really had to give me a maze with intermittent jump scares that don't do anything for the gameplay. They just kind of oh wait, found the handprints. Are we leaving again? Is this the way back out? Oh, it's blocked off. All right, so this is the entrance. All right, we found the entrance again. I hate grannies. If you have a granny, fuck you. I just wanted to stop fucking doing this shit, man. Alright, so it's not that way. I'm pretty sure it's dead ahead. Jump at me. I actually fucking hate the way this is structured. Like, I genuinely just... Like, it's hard enough. I didn't even see her that time. Where was she? I didn't even see her that time. No, I love my granny too. I'm just feeling quite angry at this one in particular, okay? How about this way, eh? How about this way? I 
Like, it's not as though if you use it too much- it's like- it's not like in FNAF, where if you use it too much to avoid getting scared, that that causes her to jump out at you. It's just random. It's just literally every once in a while the game is like, bruh, gotcha. I mean, it's working, and I don't like the atmosphere, but it's just- I don't know, it feels fucking cheap to me, man. Is this the right way? I don't think it is. Eh. I mean, it's scaring me, but I'm, I'm not happy about it. Uh, this way. Yeah. This way. Fucking hell, bruv. Fucking hell, mate. I'm... Oh. I'm just going in random directions at this point. I'm so done. I'm so done. Just jump out of me already, Granny. I've had enough waiting for it. There you are. Right, I will choose to go the opposite way. No, I choose to pursue the Granny. Come at me, Granny. I ain't scared. I ain't scared, bitch. I ain't scared of shit. See, you became a pile of trash. I choose to pursue the gilf. Ooh. This way. Oh. Imagine being British and caught in a scary scenario. <laughs> <laughs> oh! That's it! I'm free! <laughs> uh. Hello, Granny. You good? I, I gotta get out. Yeah, you're telling me, mate! Oh my god. I did it. I'm outie. And I'm ready to continue with the game. An awful lot of crucifixes up here. Perhaps that's why the granny didn't want me to get here. She's like, no, no, my one weakness, the crucifix. Aha. Oh? Where the fuck am I now? Ooh. The leaf. Scared me more than the granny did. Jesus. No one expects the leaf. Graveyard? How, how did I get here? That was a good question. Memory of Alexis Di Stefano. 1995 to 20 something. Can you just brush that leaf out of the way so I can know how sad to feel about his death? Lilith Faye. Lilith's a very sexy name, even though it is the name of, like, an ancient demon. I mean, I think that makes it more sexy, to be honest with you. Lily Starflame, definitely a witch's name. 1897. 1953. Oh. This place seems abandoned. This place seems abandoned, bro. It's a very fucking powerful lighter if you think about it. Like, Jesus. St. Jupiter's Cathedral. Down there? What are you doing keeping a cathedral down there? What am I doing? 
god. Yeah, what are you doing? To me, not the smartest it's idea. This goes down really deep. Really, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> yeah, this is where we're going tomorrow. This is where Box Tenshi keeps his cathedral. It's a good idea, chat. <laughs> How did I end up here? St. Jupiter's Cathedral to close its doors. The Church of Horrors. The confession of Nancy Goring in 1951, who was handed into the police by Louis II himself. The massively disowned public wake of serial killer Madison Hale in 1987. The shooting in the year of 1992, which ten children and five adults tragically died. Suicide of Father George. And it finally closed its doors in 2015. Visit our biblical uh, art mazes. Our mazes get updated every year. Wow. Sounds like fun. Oh, hey, I mean, there's a window there. So we can surely just kind of pop out and then escape, right? No. I don't know how this works. In the summertime, when the weather is hot. And you got women, you got women on your mind. Candle. Got lots of candles. A 43 year old woman who killed a three year old woman. the candle? Nope. Alright. <laughs> Is that the bite of 80s wolf? Hang on a minute. We've been sent back. We can use the camera to time travel. 1951. Alright. I choose to travel back to see the Bite of 87. This is, I'm, I'm on a FNAF field trip right now. Yeah. Ooh. Interesting how that shadow kind of looks like a hooded person up there. This is impossible. This place didn't look like this a second ago. Luca, you need to shut the fuck up. I, <laughs> you're being possessed. Things are going to be a little weird around here. You just got to get used to it. Let's go anywhere. The color of life. The color of peace. The, the color, color of, of our little angels. Real much of anything at all. The color of death. The color oh, penis. of penis. The color of Jesus' is... right, I don't think all that much was revealed by that, but okay. Clearly significant. Oh, another candle. I think I will. Oh, hell's bells. Visit our biblical art mazes. They're updated every year. It's nice how they're sort of like in a little bit better condition, you know, now that we're back in time. Ooh. Was that the bell I heard at the graveyard? I, I would hazard a guess. Perhaps it is. Thank you, Sena, for the Aka Super. I certainly need it right now. Fuck me. Yeah, what's down here? Madison Hale, 1944-1987. Madison Hale? 
Is this her coffin? The eye is missing. Is it really? Wait, 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 wait. Huh? Oh yeah, it is. Look at that. Do we have to find the eye in Madison? It's nice to be in a sort of a more well-lit area, I suppose. You know, a little bit of... Ooh! I'm at Red Light District. Go to a nightclub. <laughs> mate, you are too drunk. You cannot come in tonight. Ah, come on, mate. Let's have a drink, mate. Come on. I'll take you out for a drink, mate. I'll make it worth your while. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, yes. The Jesus maze. Not exactly where I want it to be, but, you know, sometimes... Sometimes it, it, it just is that way. Sometimes it just be that way. Hang on. Oh, alright, never mind. I mean, you guys, you guys are saying, you know, you guys are saying that uh, the church nightclub wouldn't be any fun, but I've actually been to a nightclub that was built out of an abandoned church, and it was one of, it was a really nice place, to be honest. I used to go there for, used to go there for raves and shit, it was nice. There's green over here. Ooh. A green nightclub, underrated. It's a little weird to think about, but you know, they really made it work. Isn't an abandoned church scary? Well, well, I mean, no, because they like sort of renovate it and they made it into a club, you know. It wasn't just a bunch of teenagers gathering in an abandoned church to just have a rave. Red. Red candle. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, yeah, Jesus is the red one. Do we have another candle? We got a yellow candle, which I imagine would be this one. Do we have a green candle? All right, now we got to find the green candle. We must find the green lantern in order to protect the galaxy from the Guardians or whatever the fuck the DC Comics are doing these days. In the summertime, where the weather is high, when the mood is right and the bugs are so pretty, I can get my arms around a hundred and so I hug them, squeeze them, hold them tight. And the bright light, that's where we gotta go. Did you guys see the James and the Giant Peach movie back in the day? That was a really weird one. Ooh, the yellow dimension. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Oh, what? There are fucking more places to put candles. Oh, fuck me, man. I'm gonna be here for- I'm gonna be here for a while, aren't I? Oh. See, we got all the way out here, but I didn't even solve the safe puzzle yet! Puzzles and more puzzles and puzzles and puzzle this and puzzle that and puzzle one and puzzle two. She said I said he lied. Oh, this place looks nice. Let's go for a drink. The blue ones always have the best cocktails, you know what I mean? Oh, fuck. What the fuck am I looking at? Oh my god. Yeah, the puzzle to solve the next puzzle is what you do to unlock this puzzle. Yeah, I know the colors are significant, but like... Ah, oh, just... <laughs> What are you doing in my fucking swamp, mate? Ugh.
Biblical mazes. Oh, not you again. Oh, wait. Oh, it's the storage. Right, what can I store? Tape. I'll store that. Moon box. Store that. Tape one. Keep the notebook. Keep the photos. Keep the camera. Keep the hammer. All right, good. Lovely job. Why? Oh, those are the biblical art mazes. Right, that's what they were referring to. I just, I don't know, I think it's really funny to see like a map of a cathedral and it's like, yeah, bell tower, foundation stone, confessionary, the red maze, the blue maze, the yellow maze. Oh. <laughs> bell tower, confessionary. Where's the confessionary? I want to check that out. Is that at the back? Also, I've just noticed, why the fuck is that sus- why is that? Oh, a door. Locked. Fantastic. I'm dying. I'm just... Oh, oh the bell. Ah, clock towel. Yes. Alright. Is this where we can... No. Alright. The other place is where we switch years. This area is even more sprawling than the last one. We're in 1987. Let's go 1951. Boom. Aha. Blue camera. They have not updated their graphic design in a long time, have they? Well, now that we've got the blue candle. Let's try and find some other ones, eh? Oh, hello? <laughs> hello? Ex excuse me. Be again, my mother. Nancy. Hello, Nancy. Yeah. I did it. I, 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 I finally did it. I... Hang on. Ah, uh, what is it, my child? Tell me what ails you. It was like living with a monster. Ah, I believe what you're talking about. I believe what you're talking about is first degree murder. I may have to call the police, my sister. He lied to himself. He tried to pretend he didn't have the past. He did. He was a vile, disgusting, despicable piece of garbage. You know, he just wanted to marry me. Well, be that as it may, it still doesn't justify breaking one of our Ten Commandments, does it? Pretend it was all gone. It was gone. It chased him. It haunted him. It haunted me. Again, kind of weird, but not a sin. You have to understand. He was in charge of the gas chamber. He took so many innocent lives. He destroyed them. He did just. Who could do that? There were days I would look into his eyes. Nothing looking back at me. He was already uh. dead. Only God knows how many lives he had taken, but not anymore. I made sure he would not hurt another person. Ah, yes, my sister, sure but it does not justify suffered. you breaking one of our Ten Commandments, does it? I'm afraid I may have to call the cops. <laughs> I know God will forgive me for my sins. I'm not sure he will. Father, sorry, Father, sorry. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Our Father in heaven, 
As it is in heaven, Oh right, okay, okay, I can leave now. I take a picture. Nope. I never mind. What about the mazes down here? A little odd. Did they? I don't recall. If. LEDs were this powerful back in the fucking 1950s. Now where did I leave the other candles? They were in like the green or the red maze, weren't they? I think so. Let's have a look over there. Ah, uh, hello, yes. Uh, here to take over from, from, from Vox for a moment. He seems quite upset. Got a good feeling about the red maze. Let's check it out. <laughs> Nothing in there. Uh. <sighs> oh no, I might not be a fan of horror games, but I'm always willing to help. Come, uh, it's come an issue with with my good friend Vox. If he struggles, I'm here to help. But goodness me, I might be about to struggle as well. Although it'll be you who struggles tomorrow. But I didn't say that to you right now. Did I leave them in here? No. <laughs> All right, they must be in red then. They must be in red. It appears our main character, Luca, has had a bit too much of the communion wine, but, you know, we can always turn the other cheek when it comes to someone who's clearly struggling quite a, quite a bit. Am I lost? Oh, yes. Deeper. No pedestal in the red one. Is that what I'm? Is that what I'm? I'm, I'm missing here. Oh. Where did I leave the other candle? I've got the other candle. I guess I can head back to 1980s now. On earth as it is in heaven. It's good to know you're repenting, woman. Keep it up. Oh, 
green maze. Hmm. Guess that's a map. Hmm. Are there maps for the other mazes? Would have been helpful to know earlier. Green maze. Let me check if there's actually something to find in the red maze in this version. Got the little sort of cross section down here. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> ay, ay, <laughs> Can't even get out of this one. Can't even get out of this one. Jesus Christ. Pardon me for speaking the Lord's name in vain, but what the fuck? I'm going to be completely 100% honest with all of you. I am bored stiff. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, uh, I'm sure, quite a good horror experience for some people, but for my limited skill with puzzles, I am getting about one scare an hour, and the rest of this is idly wandering around very long mazes very, very slowly, and I am bored to tears. I'm really sorry to be honest, but this is just not for me, I don't think. <laughs> oh my god. I feel as though, I feel like I'm only about... I looked it up and they said the game was only six hours long. I feel like I've only made it through one of those hours, quote-unquote, hours so far. Anything in Blue Man Group? Anything in Blue Land? Nope. Alright, moving on. Moving on with my life. I'm gonna give these last few puzzles a few more tries, but I feel like if I just get stuck here, I'm, I'm probably just gonna, just gonna end for today. Because I have a lot of ideas for the ASMR tomorrow, and if I can give it more time, then I can make that really special. Uh, so maybe that's a better idea than just ramming my head into a wall and waiting for something to stick. Oh, oh, oh. We have another candle room. We have another room for room candles. We don't have a green candle yet, so I... Uh, maybe we head back to 2022? <sighs> yeah, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. To me, these puzzles are like... I remember one of the things I liked about the puzzles in horror RPGs, like Witch's House. Uh, what am I trying to say? 
Yeah, with horror RPGs like Witch's House, like the puzzles were all sort of fairly self-contained, so they really made you rack your brain. But it wasn't like, oh, I remember there was a thing, and then you have to walk for about three minutes just to find out that you weren't right. And I'm aware that, like, a lot of me taking ages with this game is probably because I'm just fucking stupid when it comes to puzzles, and I'm aware of that. I ain't ashamed. I know I'm mid-dumb, mid-lost, mid-stupid, and I'm, I'm content with that. I ain't insecure about my intelligence, I just don't think straight sometimes. Yeah, mind flashes to 101. Yeah, that was a fucking nightmare, but I've only got myself to blame. I mean, that's the thing with this, right? I can tell that the solution to the puzzle is to use, like, the, um, the clue. So we know that Jesus red, Mary green, and then we put the colored candles corresponding to that on the pedestals beneath the painting. The one problem is I'm gonna have to go through all of these billion different mazes looking for a fucking green candle. I don't know if that's how I want to spend my Saturday. <laughs> yeah, alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm in the 1950s now. I'm gonna head up towards the bell tower and see if there are more clues. Head up to the bell tower, see if there are more clues, and maybe another... I'm also lost in the red maze now, because I'm, I'm fucking dumb. Where am I? Oh my god, it can't be that hard to get out of this fucking mess. Where's the exit? Come on. There it is. Alright, let's go to the bell tower. See if we can't find the other candle. Oh Lord, be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done. <laughs> this is my kingdom come, this is my kingdom come. When you feel my heat, right beneath my feet. Can't get up to the bell tower like that. Alright. Oh. There you go. There's that one. Is that yellow? Yellow. So this one ought to be green, right? Or well, blue. Blue! Gotcha! This is my calm. This is my calm. Do we have all the candles on us? We do. We just have to... Well, maybe I shouldn't give up right away. I mean, I've, I need to just find the bloody green candle. But where is it? Back to 2020. Is the green candle in here? Did I miss it on my way down? It'd be pretty shitty of them if they put it like right behind where you spawn into this level. Yeah, I didn't think I didn't think it was around here at all. But you know, worth a check. Like a three-year-old, <laughs> three-year-old woman. All right, yeah. Back in 1987, let's check that fucking bell tower and see if we can't find something up there. Got this, got that. Blue and red, green and yellow. Or green and yellow, or green and red, whichever the fuck it is. Can't do shit with the bell anymore. No candles up here. Yeah, 
Is that the Church of 87? They must have done that intentionally. There's no way that in, like, the indie horror landscape that you can't be aware of fucking FNAF. FNAF. Hang on a minute. He's here. Alright. Who is he? Oh. There's the... Hmm. Oh. Hello. It was a... That looked like a... That looked like a chef. That... I might be missing something, but that looked like a chef to me. He had like a... Oh! Hello. Now you ain't got to get out of this place. You got to put the candles down. That's the trick. That's the ticket. Wait a minute. Where was the fucking? Oh, I can't remember. I think Green Maze had some pedestals in it. So we're being chased now. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I get it. So we've got to run back to the 1987 one. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Because otherwise he's going to kill us. Corner is in the maze, I think. Possibly. Wrong way. Oh, don't you dare. I got me magic camera. I'm not afraid to use it, mate. Which one had the fucking thingy in it? I can't remember. Uh, blue. Let's go blue. This is a certified blue classic. Blue maze group. Alright, that ain't it. Must be one. I'm thinking, right? Because there's only three. You gotta sort of split them. Now nah, I got all, I got all four colors. Jesus is red. The violin lady is green. Uh, the, this lady is blue, and then the the horizontal fat man with a beard is yellow. There we are. All right. Red for you. Yellow for you. Blue for you. Oh dear. Got to get scared by something. Scripted jump scare coming up. Doing great. Doesn't feel like I'm doing great. Um, right, we know the other room is in the, the yellow. The, the, sorry, the green. Yeah, green. So as long as all of them are on one pedestal that relates to the correct picture, then surely it should be fine. Life is not dot dot dabby da do at the moment, nor is it dot dot dooby dooby do. There you go. Green candle for you. The we did it. The color of our little angels. Oh. Silent night. 
Yeah, it's Christmas. It's Christmas in my house tonight. Um, heaven. All right, she's still preoccupied. Now, before we couldn't get to the bell tower in the fifties, but maybe we can now. Your kingdom come. Nope. No, we can't. Okay. So what the fuck do I do now? Yep. Merry Christmas, everybody. Here that we got jump scared by the guy. Oh, hello. <laughs> right on cue. Oh, hello. Locked. Oh shit. All right, we got to get out of here. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna set. I'm sensing that I shouldn't be here. Hello. Oh god. Just sort of getting the impression that maybe I shouldn't be here. 1987. Go. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, that's the way. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Oh, what fun it is to something that was put up Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. Father Christmas lost his whiskers on the motorway. Hey. Any of you guys not know, but we, we that's that's just what we call them in the UK. Father Christmas. I am alright, right, never mind then. Is this open? Nope. So where do I go now then? See the confessionary is no longer there in the in eighty seven. We have a mistletoe's kiss. Mwah, of course. Oh, there's mistletoe. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we don't call him Santa Claus in our country. We call him Father Christmas, which I think is rather sweet. Merry Christmas, Kindred. What would you like for Christmas this year? I'm dedicated now. I feel like if I'm at home and I'm not with family on Christmas, I feel like I might do a sexy Santa ASMR. Oh, you know. Oh, if you've been good, then perhaps Santa will give you a present. <laughs> <laughs> You guys could be like my little my little Christmas elves, you know? And be like sexy Colonel Sanders. That'd be great. Actually, I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's maybe that maybe that maybe there's some merit to be had to that. What's that movie with um what's his name? You know the guy I'm talking about, the guy from Fargo. The guy from Fargo. Um Billy something. What's the movie? Bad Santa, is that it? The one where he's like just a really sleazy mall Santa or something. Bad Santa. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Bad Santa. To do it like that where I'm just like some I'm just like some sleazy guy who's like got a job as a mall Santa and you being like an adult. You just kind of walk in you're like, "Hey there, big guy." And I'm like, I don't got paid enough for this. Hey, hey uh, what you? Billy Bob Thornton, that's it. Billy Bob Thornton. What a fantastic actor, by the way. Also, I'm lost. I've done the puzzle. What do I do now? I went to the 90, I went to the 50s and then I got surrounded, so I... I mean, is that the way forward? I mean, to be fair, this game doesn't really have death in it, does it? So... 
Please, no sexy Sansa. I mean, you're welcome to not watch it, but I think it'd be kind of funny. The puzzle isn't finished? What do you mean it's not finished? Ugh. What do you mean it's not finished? Fuck me. Give me a break. What do you... I, the color of the candle can't be the room I put it in because not every r room has a place to put candles. The, only the green and blue or green and yellow or whatever it is have candle rooms. The pedestals only belong in some places. All right, green candle is in green room. Good. Oh, you know, I guess that would make sense now. I guess that would make sense because when I put down the the correct ones in both of them. See, when I I think it was the last one I put down in the previous room, the non-green one. And then it like shook and I thought, "Oh, I've done that right," you know. But no, it would make sense if you put All right, fair enough. All right. Well, back to it then, I guess. Back to the grind, the grind of gears. Yellow is that bloke, so we're leaving. Oh, it's lit as well. Okay, no, that's me being dumb, to be fair. That's me being stupid. All right. Blue and red next. Voxan for crit. Oh. See, I don't know if I could pull off a Voxan ASMR because I don't think the voice is like. It's fun, but it's not like super serious, you know. It's sort of like a joke voice. And I'm like. Hi, boys. Like that. I don't know. Maybe. I've been a good girl this year. Tell me what I want for Christmas. You haven't been good at all. You're getting cold, bitch. Ah! <laughs> green. Wait, no, we already did green. We already did green. We gotta go red. Yeah. We need to remember a simpler time when Mr. first did his girl voice, you know? Hey, boy! How you doing? That was a good time. I think with these, don't you just... Oh, hang on. Oh. Maybe I have been stupid. Oh. oh, I have been stupid. No, you're right, chat. Wait a minute. Hang on. What? But, but, the, what? Je, what? Ye, but, Jesus is the red one. There's no, je, what? Huh? The red one is Jesus. And he's not in there! Huh? Explain that shit! You got- What? You gotta put the- Jesus was the red one. No Jesus? Yeah, it appears like I need to take- I need to take notes from fucking Kanye West and find God, cause he's clearly not fucking here! The red candle in the red room. Use the blue one. Surprisingly, no, it did not work. Yeah, that's green, that's yellow, and that's blue. Where's... where's Jesus? Maybe it's in another year. That might be the case. All right. Although I'm scared of 1953 because that's where the, the the fucking the butcher from Diablo is wandering around looking for fresh meat. Raw fresh meat. Raw. 
Demon seeks Jesus. For a second I thought that was like the thing and it had all turned black. I was like, oh no. Oh yeah, so we're looking for Jesus. But Je Let's go to the blue one first. I go back to the 50s to put the Jesus one down. Aha. Is that it? Nope. They're always fairly well lit, to be fair, the little pedestal rooms. Oh, 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 hello. Hang on a minute. There we go. And then... The blue lady's not- oh. The blue lady's not there. Oh, you're breaking my balls out here, Madison. What the fuck? And now I've got to just tr slowly plod along back to 1953, back up the thing, see if that's the solution, and if it's not, I'll have to all the way back. Interesting concept for a puzzle, certainly. I just wish I could run a bit faster, is all. And there are bad guys here. Question mark. There are some nasties out here. Causing me problems. Busting my balls. Yes, there she is. The color of Mary's tears. Oh, he's figuring it out. I'd imagine the thing with this puzzle is that the, the, the scares get gradually more intense as you solve it. What the what the fuck is the way out of this place? Ooh. If something happened, I ain't see it. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. If only you were attacking me in a bright, in a more brightly lit room, then maybe I oh hello. Then maybe I could see you. Almost there. Just gotta get the red. There you go. Come on, Jesus. You know, sometimes in life, you can feel like there's no way out. Like you're a sheep trapped in a maze designed by bloodiest games. But sometimes in life, you come to a set of two doors. And behind those doors, you know, behind one of those doors, there's all the treats you can think of. Fanta, Coke Zero, Burger Rings, LMP. It's very easy to get through that door. There's also another door. Not the Burger Ring door. Not the Fanta door. It's another door that's harder to get through. Do you want to take a guess at what's on the other side? No, it's not Jesus. I thought Jesus first time I came across that door. It's another door. Anyone want to take a guess at what's behind that door? Oh, 
Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, Jesus. It's tricky like that, Jesus. Anyway, let us pray. Thank you very much, Sheila. Take it away. That's from Hunt for the Wilder People, which is a fucking brilliant film, and you should all watch it. That was Tyker in his fucking prime. All right, there's... See, I found him. There's the Jesus who's behind the tricky door. The color of Jesus. All right, jump scare me, bitch. Give me a taste of my own medicine. Ong. Ong. Oh, hello. I, lo I love the way that he sways when he gets scared. He's like... Mind me, just going to inspect the church bells. I believe uh, believe they're not performing up to standard. Church bells might be rusted, might fall off, might hurt someone. Go check them out. Hello. Did I get stabbed? Oh my god! He's here. Where am I now? We're back up here. Um. Don't tell me what I think has happened has just happened. D Fellas. Fellas, has this... Has this game just planted me back at the beginning of that very long-winded puzzle? I just want to ask. I just want to know. I just want to know. For my for my own sanity, I just want to know. <gasps> Wait. There's a key. CCXH, thank you for the super. Alright, you know what? Maybe we're alright. Maybe we're alright. Maybe not. Okay, good. We're fine. That's just a scripted death. Lovely. Thank god. I would have I would have ended stream right there if I had to do that fucking puzzle again. Not because it was hard, but because it was so long. <laughs> All right, so we got a key now. Oh, yeah, the door at the back. It's kind of nerve-wracking, like, walking under that thing every time. I can't open it with our key. All right, I guess we head back to the 50s then. Send me to 1951, you son of a bitch. Has anything changed out here in the spooky year? And we never did get to the bell last time. It's changed. Oh yeah, we grabbed the key from 1987 and now we unlock it here. Apparently not. Apparently I was fucking mistaken. Can't open that one either. Oh! Fucking hell. Hello. Maybe now I can go this way. Hello. Nope. Hello. So I guess I've got a limited amount of time to escape once that starts happening. It starts like appearing nearby and that's sort of like a timer almost. 97, go! <laughs> go! FNAF year! We've got a key now, but where does the key go?
over there. It's a chair. I thought that was a demon spooking at me, but it was just a chair. I am, I am lost. You can make it wiggle. Make it wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Other than that, not too many options. Confessionary key. Ah, oh, I'm fucking stupid. Never mind. Also, guys, I am going to end uh, really soon because I forgot that the karaoke relay is starting and I don't want to take uh, eyes off of that. So I'm going to quickly see if I can't solve this and then I'll um, let you guys go and enjoy that. Because a lot of people have work, been working really hard on making sure their set lists are ready for that. So, you know, just go ahead and make sure that you give them some support. Okay, so I've got that. Confessionary key. Who's in here then? Is that going to be Miss Madison? Who are you? Show yourself. Oh, it's just a, it's just a note. Hans. Hans Goring. It's the eye. Back to eighty-seven. What the fuck? Yeah, nice try, bitch. All right. Hopefully, this is the end of this. Madison Hill, 1944. Oh, that's cool. It's like the logo with the red eye. Ooh. Wouldn't have done that. Come on, Frida. Hold on. Can I go? Ahead? Can I? Can I go ahead now? Ooh, bones. <laughs> oh, hello. We getting back in the house now. Yay, we did it. Oh no. Oh god. We're in the fucking bit from Poppy Playtime. It's my favorite part, the long corridor that will inevitably have something at the end. Let me back in. Let me go home. Oh, the bricks. Bricks. Oh, I'm gonna... Oddly enough, there's nothing behind me. Horror game trope. Something's gonna jump out of me now that I'm running back, isn't there? Oh, is this another fucking puzzle? Do I have to do something with these paintings? I just want to get scared so I can leave. Oh, more bricks. It's sealed off. Alright, we're stuck. I'm stuck in the abyss! Oh! Stuck in the abyss. I'm stuck in the abyss. I'm. Pew, pew, pew. Yep, bricks everywhere. I can't figure out what to do. Chat, I think I am going to leave the game there because I don't want to take too much time out of the karaoke relays. And to be honest, uh, I think I need to give my time, my brain some time to recharge. Um, thoughts overall, not bad. Um, the scares did work at times, but overall I think this feels less like a horror game and more like a very, very tedious puzzle game with random random jump scares sprinkled in and uh, I don't know if it's really for me but um, maybe I'll continue it another time if I really feel the itch to continue it I might but hopefully that that was fun for you guys uh, I certainly had uh, an interesting experience and tomorrow we will be having hopefully a much more enjoyable experience when you guys will get to see our father our lord in heaven Fox Tenchi once again and then afterwards we play in some RuneScape that's all from me I'll see you guys tomorrow go ahead and enjoy the fucking karaoke relays I'll see you in a bit I love you guys bye bye